There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests, buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys. He's a bunch of bullshitter. I'm John, and welcome to Sleepy Cast. Is this some new season kind of thing? Yeah, it is. Brand new hey, John, season. John, season. what do you, John? Let's give you a little bit of a plug if you know what I'm talking about. What do you, what do you do, man? Well, there's not much I do do, and <laughs> do don't do. make fun of that. Now, that's a funny word and all, but we gotta be serious. I'm here. giggling just thinking about that. One, all right, uh, YouTube.com/slash JonTron Show, or you could just Google John. Tron. You're the YouTube guy. I love your that's videos. Me. You're night gag. I've been. <laughs> You're a funny night gag. I boy. was on the GIF. <laughs> in the Google you're, you're images. Funny, you're a funny reaction, boy. Okay, so yeah, that's who I am. Uh, you may know me from there, or I uh, used to be on a show called Game Grumps as well. You may know What's me from there. Oh. Oh. What's with the owing? Oh. It was a part of my past. Oh. Jewish man you're gonna took, get took trouble. a trouble. Jewish man's place. What a surprise! <laughs> what a big, what a big leg grab surprise! All right. <laughs> oh, well, John, what'd you do? You when play, you put it in that John, terms. John, what'd you do? Oh. Play games? What do you do now? What's that? What do I what do you now? Do with game girls play games? What do you do now? Oh well, I bet. Mean, <laughs> what the fuck are you asking me? So like, Corey had a stroke. It's called yeah. fucking paramedic. Corey was looking Sorry, at me, I'm looking I'm deep into my soul. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's that. Why don't you introduce yourselves or whatever the fuck you do? My name is Zach Boy Genius. I make all kinds of crazy videos. I do like crazy Zach shoe videos. Boo! I make some... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see your fucking shoe oh, hey. videos, faggot. Fuck you. Uh, Yoda? <laughs> Is that you? Don't even, you? Even, be started, don't, you don't even try to hide the voice or anything. Sea boys get sassy, and I'm not. Uncle Zach's really mad. Uncle Zach has alcohol in his breath. Zach, Zach, put your belt back on. Uncle Zach, you you are a good. You were a great Yoda. You wonder what these gloves are you, for? You were the Yoda that I always wanted. You ever had a doctor yep. check inside your asshole? It's a glove fit. <laughs> yeah. Do you wonder why I got a doctor degree? <laughs> it wasn't to be a doctor, dude. It was to figure boys and not get in trouble. <laughs> a doctor degree? They pay you. I go to, I went to doctor.com and clicked a button and I can figure boys legally. That's the fucking law. Get over it, dude. If you were a doctor and you stuck it. your fingers up some guy's butt, you'd write him a prescription let says four fingers up your butt? Let me, I, I say come back for the daily dose of my finger <laughs> in your ass. Let me, let me ask you something. If a doctor, if he fingers boys as his job, do you think he still enjoys it when he goes home? Mm -hmm. I wonder if he get off a little bit like, oh, the boy's like, ooh. That's like, a little bit cold, isn't it? You think? It's gotta have a very Aren't special little do, do you think? Do you think if a doctor has thicker fingers, they're prohibited? They're not allowed to do that? <laughs> he got sausage fingers. <laughs> yeah. Hey, brilliant bone fingers! This guy's got a tight asshole! <laughs> I don't know! We don't want to fuck with you! Know, bone know, fingers? You know, John, yeah. see, now I'm all curious, though, because you're talking about, like, if a doctor has to do it, is it still fun? I mean, like, if Jared is giving his children a bath, is it still fun? I, oh my god. Time? I've always thought, I've always thought, if we're talking Put about... If we're talking about... If we're talking about boys being fingered, I've always thought that doctors... Yeah, go ahead. If we're talking about that, we're on that subject. I've been waiting five years for you guys to talk about boys being fingered. Now it's my chance. They have take like half an hour nice 40 year old looking hands. There's there's none of this extended sausage fingers. They're just, you know, polite adult hands. My point is, if you're a doctor, you have really thick, naturally fat... You wouldn't get... You're not allowed. You don't... Would you want the big, fat, clammy guy going, oh, No, you don't You don't have the fat, clammy guy with the big sausage fingers You'd want the fucking... you you want Holocausto to finger you. Yes. He's a superhero. <laughs> what what does he have? Fucking skinny finger. He's oh, got Skeletor. <laughs> he's got little bony like, finger knuckles. Fucking maniac. All right, yeah. but what would you do? <laughs> what would you rather do? Stop. Have the big chunky one or a skinny one with a, a sharp fingernail? Depends. Yeah. What's the? Do we get like it's a, a different kind of treat? Like, do, do I get oh, a, a sucker with one, and do I get a candy bar? Hold on. No, same treat. It's not a bank. You don't get Hold a sucker on. if you get finger coins. Oh, uh, <laughs> actually, when you go to the doctor and you get your your fucking anal exam with the finger, they give you a sucker. I did! Oh, fuck you! <laughs> that, that's a magic trick. He pulls the sucker out of your ass. It's a double whammy. He's like, yeah, there you oh, go. No, just... he pulled the quarter from the back of my ear. John, I had like, a finger. Your uncle thing. was not a doctor. I had a finger last. I don't know if you hear that's real. I know. <laughs> I shipped blood back in like January. You can watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Click episode 13 of this podcast. I shipped blood. What a crazy thing to happen. I went to the yeah. hospital. I was like, hey, am I dying? And he was like, let me, let me finger you first. Fingered me. Did just put the finger up the ass? Yeah. I literally, I went, I went, hey, yeah, yeah. I literally made a sound like that. I was like, <laughs> what did it feel like? I think I said, holy moly. I'm not sure. I think, I, if I recall, it feels 
What in Arabic? It feels like it. You're like, like oh, oh, you know, it, it feels like you know you wipe your ass and you're like, oh, that felt kind of tingly. No. Imagine that keeps going and it's like, oh, it's not like that. I. Ha what do you mean? I have my ass tingly. What are you talking about? Exactly. Put on a rubber glove. They go. And they put on lube, and it feels like there's a big slimy shit. I'll tell you what happened. I felt the pressure of my ass. Like, he showed me one of his hands, he showed me the other one. I said, Doc, what's in there? And he smiled. Zach. <laughs> and he said, he said, Doc, you'll be in Zach. He, went, he showed you one hand here, one hand here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. hands, no yeah. hands. No Drip hands. No hands. hands. Doc, what are you doing with that third hand? <laughs> Where'd you get a third hand, Doc? Yeah. Then he showed you his cock, and you were like, wait a minute, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> his cock comes yeah. in your purple, he holding more papers. <laughs> and you're like... Now I'm really, now I'm really confused. Yeah. Uh, real... Question beep beep beep. Retardo Ugo says, "This is a real question from this guy. I don't know why you make your username that. Honestly, you're probably a <laughs> real life freak. I don't know, dude. Honestly, just kill yourself because no one even wants you, dude. But the real story here is this. He asks, uh, uh, "What happened to the other episode of John? Let's explain that for a second." <laughs> Did he, 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 attached, he attached a picture of himself. I don't know. <laughs> look at his tits. Look at where they look. Isn't that gross? They're not that bad. What, you got better the, tits? I don't have better tits. Look at this guy's tits. I mean, his, his, well, it's sort of like a, his He's name. He's got an open heart his, surgery skull. He's like 15. What, his name? What's he got? <laughs> his name set up, you know, a big expectation for how his dad's in the Ugo back. His dad's be. in the background. He's hovering over and his cock is out, dude. His dad's just looking disappointed in the background. <laughs> John, here's the real question. What? Well, first let's answer this one. So, you, you little golems out there, you little freakazoids, keep asking, uh, you know, what happened to the John Chart episode? Well, we recorded it. It was, uh, myself, John, Niall, and Corey. Yeah. And it was vile. You know, well, you're going to talk about it. You're actually going to talk about it. I'm just going to yeah. go into a we, second. We might air it. I don't we know. We might air it. Because well, I, I did read on sleepy, on conspiracycast.com <laughs> that it was because uh, John Tron punched uh, Niall in the face. Punched my yeah. girlfriend. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. And, and that's why we never <laughs> published that episode. And his girlfriend. That is so we're going to talk about it. It's definitely going to become a thing now. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, God. Yeah, no, we it was just... <laughs> well, we, Can we, I say? We just got to talking. It was a little dark and... Yeah. So that's the answer. So stop <laughs> asking you a little... Fucking, you know what? I'm, talk, I'm talking eyes. to you. I'm talking to you, dude. You know who you are. And right now look down. Look at look at your stomach, dude. He fucking uh, he knew. You know. Do you really think that second cheeseburger was worth it? You little fucking. <laughs> dude, you know he had a drop in his stomach. He knew you were talking that about him. One guy screamed just now. Like, one guy's probably you. eating a second <laughs> he's cheeseburger. Just, <laughs> he just like no, really keep eating it. He's like about to take a bite of it, and then he I just said, stopped him. You know it's on, law of have averages seen, there. Have you seen those videos on YouTube of buff guys being like, yeah, you fucking doughy piece of shit. Look at me. <laughs> look look how buff I am. Look how fat you are. You fat doughy piece of shit. And it. It kind of hits home sometimes where you're like, yeah, he's pretty buff. I do feel bad now. You click out of it. <laughs> it's never happened once, dude. <laughs> it's happened to me. It's a few just times. you. How the fuck you actually? Are you looking at him? How do you no, still feel bad? That's my point. I shouldn't feel bad, but then I'm like, wow, he's pretty buff. I guess <laughs> I guess I am a loser. <laughs> how did you find this? Did you look it up? No, I remember it was on like. <laughs> you was on muscle some forum. humiliation, dude. Yeah, <laughs> muscle humiliation. I was looking for hot muscly man. <laughs> and then I found that, and then I felt you know, bad. I you know there's that. some guys that actually get turned on by small penis That's what I was about to say! Yeah. That is a fetish I don't it's understand. Like, I don't get it at all! I, it's like, there's like, there was this artist that I, I was a fan of, but he had this, I don't know the name for it, but yeah. it's like small dick humiliation small fetish. Penis humiliation. Where you have like a big dick and a small dick. And it's like the girl likes the big dick and laughs at the small dick. Yeah, I saw and this, that's it. I it's saw millions of pictures of the same concept. I saw this one blog once where these people were sending pictures of their dicks, like "Don't be too harsh," and she's like, it's "Fucking small, you fucking idiot." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah. Is this, is this, that's not. I'm not is, kidding. That's the whole thing." Yeah. Is this like an extension of the guys who like to have their balls stepped on with high heels? Yeah, the kind of I mean, no, like it's a, a little version different. Version of that, I suppose. Yeah, it's it's a, I guess it's, cool. it's so, same like uh, family of yeah, fetish. Just, just humiliation. Yeah, yeah. Kind of there was when I worked at a strip club there was a guy who came in regularly and all the girls really liked him because um, they never actually had to dance for him. Just insult they, him? They, yeah, they would insult him and then in front of everybody and he, there were a few times when he got a little disruptive. Like, so long as he wasn't too disruptive. <laughs> Mick, Mick, yeah. Call my dick small? Well, no, no, no. What a little, little disruptive. He would actually pay them to like do things like make him lick ashtrays and stuff. Oh. But there were times when like other customers would get like kind of uncomfortable at which point they'd kick him out, which I think he actually was okay with as well. Because he liked that. As he was like, yeah, oh, don't scene. kick me out. It's humiliating. Exactly. Oh, exactly. yeah. 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 He goes outside his fucking He's already coming while he's falling. No, don't kick me out! Oh, yeah! Do you think that's like a crossed, like, neuron connection or something? Oh, or he's probably just like a... He's probably some kind of Melvin kid who grew up and made people made look ashtrays and he got up to that somehow. Like, he hates himself or something. But, like... That's usually how Look, I hate myself plenty. I don't want someone to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to look at an ashtray and That's usually me? how it starts. Like, you know the people who eat shit? 
Yeah. When they what? Were, when they were young. <laughs> Hold on, Corey. Hold on. Hold on. Back it up. Yeah. Back it the fuck up. Though you can't skip past <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, there's a lady on the internet. Back in high school. Like shitty brownies. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I make the best shit brownies and make sure to buy them. And then, and then there's these reviews underneath the, the web page. They're like, too nutty. Yeah, I bought. No, they're like, oh. I bought these. These are the most delicious shit brownies I've ever ate. And it's like, thank you Is so much. Is that actual feces? Yes. I have. I she has pictures old lady? of her taking shits on brownies. An old lady. No, she's a nice young lady. Are we oh, really we're as smart as we brownies. think we are? As yeah, I know, right? <laughs> as a race? I guess that's the only downside. It's the horseshoe effect. We've gotten so advanced and so smart that we're starting to loop back yeah. to just like, how <laughs> stupid can we possibly be no, and still survive? Wonderful <laughs> shit brownie, a little salty. <laughs> she sells all these different shit things. Like she'll sell just like actual little like can I say, little bags of shit. It's baffling to me. Just just if you step back and look at Alien, right? Hmm. The, the the range of humanity is so fucking severe. Yeah. Like on one end you have like theoretical physics creating nuclear bombs landing on the moon. And on the other end you have you have a lady selling ship brownies. It's such a vast <laughs> like range. I love no 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 no. no it goes even them. further. It's, it's not just a lady further. selling she ship sells brownies. She sells them for $80 a yeah. pop. I'm I'm you can make your own shit brownies. brownies, and then there's the people who buy those brownies people... and eat them, and then review them publicly on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, no, but, but the worst part is, is how polite they are. They're like, they, they were very delicious. Thank you so much. It's like, why are you talking like that? You just ate shit. People have shit between their teeth, dripping on the keyboard. I don't know. I, I mean, what could possibly be going through their head? The, yeah. Well, that's what I meant. Is it like some kind of switch neuron thing? Like, I know some people it's, say that like foot fetishes no, actually it's, comes it's, from it's exactly like your these... pleasure center in your brain being close to your the feet. Foot area? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? So sometimes it gets crossed, which the makes it a very common play, thing. The foot shaped part of your brain is touching the. Uh, yes. You're right, right. Yes. It's like it's, <laughs> it's like if you ever go to boards, <laughs> right? Logic. For instance, if you've ever gone to a board with images and people who like, like I'm not going to refer to a certain like red chan, but if you go to one of those places, <laughs> um, there's like boards. Like if you go to Girl Chan, for instance, it's a place where people talk about stuff where they're like, I didn't really like this image. I didn't like the color of red they had for the blood. I prefer a more darker tone, so it, it kind of sets the mood. Well, and people are like, blood? Yeah, I agree. I agree with the OP. And then they're like, More darker blood, and they like. Like have like reviews for pictures and stuff and they're just completely polite like you know they, yeah. they eat their fucking greens and veggies pay and they're, their taxes. they're good people they pay their taxes yeah. but it's like how they act you would see them and they would just be like you and me but they would go upstairs and look up like uh, fucking like um, dogs getting their heads cut off they're just like yeah that's it's just weird. I mean, I Good guess. Good color. I mean, I guess in the same way. <laughs> can I, can it's I like tell all like, fantasy stuff. I, yeah. Everyone has a little bit of a you know, a little bit of fascination well, with the dog course. to some degree. Of course. With like, what? Like just the fascination of like the dog. Like you like you don't like it necessarily, but when we were already uh, Starcade, we'll get to that later. When we were already Starcade. What is it? How does? Can I tell the story? Oh, you mean like when? Yeah, Chris, yeah, yeah. Chris yeah. was trying to sleep. And yeah. He walked out, and it was like 5 a.m., and John and I well, were in dead let's, silence. Let, yeah, well, yeah. Let's get, okay, the backstory was we were writing Starcade, me, Chris, and Zach. It was 4 a.m. It was like 4 or 5 a.m. Chris had gone to sleep like 5 hours ago, or right. maybe like 3 hours at before. Good, good reasonable hour. Yeah, at a reasonable hour, and like we were just like being too loud because we were, you can... We, yeah, Chris, oh, Chris, yeah. Chris stumbled out of the bedroom like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, he stumbles out. And we were watching like the thermal footage of ISIS guy, little ants like being exploded. We were like, <laughs> yeah, we were, like two hours yeah, like watching the, this. Like the helicopter machine gun where there's like, and go. <laughs> Yeah, woke me up. And, they still like running and, around like and, ants. And fucking Chris just is like, what are you guys doing? And we're like, who watches ISIS get fucking like, shot? And he's like, okay, can you turn it down? <laughs> like I'm that. a party pooper, I'm sorry. No, it was funny. It was just like, we were, it was, we were being guys, loud. I can laugh. Chris, I'm the same <laughs> way. Like, if I if I heard like laughing and screaming, I'd be like... No, wait, what were you guys loud about? Were you laughing we were and laughing. screaming? It was just the no, we were dead silent. It was, it was the volume of the TV. It was the... Okay, go get these, you know, these noise. <laughs> and you're just we like, were, we have to turn this to full max volume. I recall you guys screaming loud Arabic. We were, we were, well, because, well, because there was like the part, this is pretty dark. What? Say <laughs> This is really dark. Well, the part was this. There was the one part where. Oh, the, the guys pray? The guys stop. <laughs> yeah. <they're> all, <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. because okay. okay, to be fair, and 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 you have to be sensitive because a lot of times the US... hold on, if you rape a five year old with a knife in hold Syria, on. you kind of maybe hold on. Well, a lot of times okay. the U.S. targets the wrong people. Not intentionally. These. No, I know, but so that's why it's like hard to laugh at. But that said, well, this was an encampment of like ISIS baddies. It was a ba yeah, no, it was an encampment. These guys like running very. I mean, you tell. They, well, they all scattered when they <laughs> when they see the the machine gun shooting <laughs> right. at them. But but then like they're all trying to get away. But at a certain point where a few of them realize. 
they're not getting away because this thing is just all seeing for miles. <laughs> and they just stop and start praying. And then BAM! They just fucking... And then the other guy stops praying and just runs away. Yeah, 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 yeah it's a funny part. Then the guy, there's like, his friends oh. stop praying and he was like, okay, fuck this dude. <laughs> you see, like, no, you can yeah. see the one where he, where he was like, oh, God's not real. Like, you saw the... <laughs> yeah, yeah! You would okay. back. Oh, it's no! Not, it's not funny, but you could definitely see in that moment just he was like, you know what? Fuck the prayers! I'm out of here, bitch! <laughs> just the fact that, like, in that last, like, two seconds, he was like, oh, that was everything the last ten years was for nothing. Yeah. Most. And it just, yeah. it just in one second. Everything, you mean all those people, they cut their heads yeah, off? He was and all those, yeah, because he You could see okay. him lose his faith. Like, yeah, oh, you could see him lose his real. faith. I mean, and he then, probably didn't lose his faith, but you saw the shit get scared out of him, at least. It's really terrible, but... but <laughs> well, it's ISIS. Not the nicest yeah, group. Yeah, I mean, like... I. I don't want to glorify the the terrible violence, but it was it was some. some I do it was find interesting. it interesting that there's because there is a subtle hint of like almost it's somewhat apologetic to, to the like laugh about that kind of stuff, and yet on their end it's something that's celebrated and shoved in our faces, and yet having a reaction to that is something that we can't like. We, well, we're supposed I, I'll to feel say this: weird I don't. I don't like, what do you mean? I, I think. Well, if they're gonna show us videos of their shit, and the fact that if we have a response to that, whether it's disgust shock, or even laughing, humor, or something like that, why should we ever feel ashamed about I, our I, I, reactions? I, I, I think I'd make this, I think, I think the correction is not, I don't believe this, but I think the, the point is, when you're laughing at anything like that, it's not that you're celebrating their deaths, or that you're, you're, not saying, you're not negating the fact that their deaths are good, Of course, but I think the argument is, you're laughing at the gore and the violence, and maybe that's right. the wrong The ridiculous thing. nature of it. Like, well, I people, think... people were like, oh, why are you cheering for Bin Laden, Big Dad? It's like, well... I'm not happy that that the way things were concocted, sure, maybe, sure. but like objectively, you took a guy out who killed a lot of people. You did good objectively, killing Hitler or killing Bin Laden or whatever I'll, it is. Or, you know. I'll, my, what what I think is that right. uh, being a country like ours, I think that. The, the reason that we get farther without violence is because we're so averse to violence that we even want to give our enemies a second chance. Sure. And I think that speaks for the the way we do things culturally sure, in America. Of course. So I think that's why, even though we don't want to glorify our enemies getting killed, that said, it was, it's so weird it's, to see these people be dogmatic and kill us for those reasons and right. then in their last moment be like, fuck! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, all right, come on, man. Yeah. If you're going to have a fucking... <laughs> like holy war. Can I yes. say also, Stick with it. What, yeah. what, what an interesting time we live in where, I mean, besides the ISIS videos, which are by the way in HD, perfect HD. Hey, it's crazy. Perfect, th Russia put out some videos. They're not, they're not as like that, but Russia put out videos before they did the airstrikes and before everything else. Have you seen this? It's HD footage of the Russian ship from the Caspian Sea, I think, shooting the fucking the cruise missiles. What it do you did, mean? There's HD footage of a Russian ship shooting missiles. Yeah? Did you see this? No. It's perfect HD. It's yeah. amazing. It's just, I don't know. It's super fascinating to see. Because when you're used to war footage, you're used to World yeah. War II, Vietnam. Yeah. It's bizarre oh, to see yeah. perfect HD ISIS video. Like, yeah. like for example, the Saddam Hussein, Saddam Hussein was executed <coughs> in 2005. Yeah. The only footage that has like a cell phone video that's yeah, like cell phone pixels. Video. You can't see it at all. Yeah. Actually, all the Kiev stuff, or the Maidan stuff. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the Ukraine all stuff. All HD, yeah. amazing That's what shit. It's, it's amazing on par with that. Shit. Yeah, the whole Ukraine thing was in perfect HD. It brings it really to like, it makes you feel like you're right there. I, me. Chris was actually in the opposite when I was doing this. We live in another- I remember that. The, the, the other fascinating thing besides the HD footage is the live streaming. People live stream now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Back, back in- Periscope it back while in fucking the, <laughs> It was pretty Here's much on par with that. Back in November of 2014, 14. Yeah, we were watching September, November. I put there, there was a live stream from a Ukrainian apartment window, just with an apartment streaming the Kiev airport, no, the uh, the Donetsk airport. Yeah, you could see the light, the sky would light up. Yeah, just it's light up in the middle of the night. It was just there, you could hear war, it was live streaming. Yeah, you could see, hear like little, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you heard scripts of boys. Yeah, fucking you also, the, uh, <laughs> when Israel invaded uh, uh, Gaza, I think around the same, around there, in 2014, whatever that was, summer 2014, they live streamed that too. Yeah. And you can see the distance, you can see smoke rising in the distance. It was just live streamed. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fascinating. It's pretty crazy. I think it's interesting that people still find that violence is the best way to, to solve these things. Still, after all yeah, we know, after all this. we've seen, after all the documented. Every, every time I think about this, I, I come to one conclusion. That's like basically that, like, and not to be pessimistic or like edgy, but. There really is no hope. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll say, I'll, I'll clarify my point. Now, yeah, yeah follow right, that no, up seriously, with something. Seriously, right? Before World War II, everybody was like, the world's too good, it's too advanced, but anything bad happen again. The war's not gonna happen. That's why Hitler was appeased. But you could just have one guy who just feels like doing that. Uh, if everybody in the world right now completely disbanded their military, completely disbanded their nuclear weapons, yeah. it takes only one guy sure. to be like, you know what? 
What is somebody gonna do? Stop me? They just right. do it. Yeah. Like Vladimir Putin's a good example now. He's not a Hitler, but he's just he's just doing shit. He just feels like doing it. No one stopped him. Yeah. And though you know, it's just you could just do that. You know what baffles my mind is that with all these technological advances, do you guys ever watch the news occasionally? Never did. Uh, okay. I, yeah, so well, the, I, I I keep <laughs> current with world events, but I don't right. watch the news. Okay. So at the very least, I've seen some highlights here and there. I don't sit there and watch CNN twenty four seven, but I will say this. How is it that with all the technological advances, I feel like, you know when they do those interviews with like people, oh, they're like on the scene in Iraq or they're on the right. scene in Pakistan, whatever it is, that the latency is so bad now. Like when they try to talk, they're always talking over each other, like a bad yeah. Skype call or bad Google Hangout. Yeah. And it, it just boggles my mind because when I was a kid, I remember they were able to have these conversations just fine before. I they were able to talk to people across the world somehow. I don't it's, know how they did it. It got worse, you think? It's it got, gotten worse, I, I was, hasn't it? I was watching I a Donald noticed. Trump interview. It was Trump Do you know what I'm talking about, Trump Zach? Tower talking to Bill Riley, right. who I think is also in New York. At the very least, he's based in LA or something. Right. And they, there was like a four second delay yeah. where Trump would say something and then it would be cut off uh, by Bill O'Reilly. And there's like talking the over H- each other like, oh wait, no, you fir- you first. Oh no, you first. Could oh. be all the HD inputs, HDMIs and shit like yeah. that. They're trying to find a HDMI, cheaper but, yeah. solution or something like that. Or I would have, yeah, you would have thought they would have gotten rid of that. Not enough people amazing. watching the news. Their budgets are cut. Speaking of the news, do you guys ever feel like reading the news is the most, it's the best way to ruin your day, kind of? Yeah, no. news what? is, I, well, I, I, I actually, I, I don't like reading the news I at all. I feel like what's the news sources have dissolved into? Hold on, it depends, look, it depends what you're reading. If you're reading the local news, if you're reading guy in Philadelphia gets beheaded. No, uh, it's, it's every wrong. news that does that though, like because that's what makes the money. They always yeah. focus on the shit, well, so it well, makes you go. Uses, oh man! Anyway. Yeah, well, what's supporting the news? <laughs> but, I, but I think not, not, not to not to sound like an asshole, but I, I do think that I, I try to stay at board. I try to. Of course. Not, no, you not, know, not, not 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 that it's not it's bad to. Not it is do important that. to stay informed for sure. But like I literally, I, my routine is like I shower, I get my coffee, and I read the news for like 15, 20 minutes. I just go through all the news. Really? Oh, yeah, just all news. news. Just everything. Just I do it like weekly because if I do it every day, I just want to kill myself. Here, here, well, <laughs> well, no, I, 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 feel, I, I feel like I feel like it gives you context of what's going on. So, for example, yeah. if you see, if if uh, if a headline kind of t-bones your day that seems severe. I'm like, oh, that's not severe. I've been following this for like two weeks. No, this is just what happens. Like, for example, the North Korea thing is a good example. Right. Right. Every, about once every year in the fall, North Korea will make a nuclear threat that will turn the U.S. into a sea of ashes. If make you never another the news, video. If you never read Michael the news, Jackson in the background. Right. About exactly. blowing up New York. Exactly. Okay. If you never, if you never <laughs> read the news and you see headline that says North Korea is going to start a nuclear war, that really, that does ruin your day. Yeah. But if you fall, if you read the news going, oh no, that, they're not doing anything. Trust me, it's just a threat. I mean, I've seen I, this before. It's I not. I hear about it from like Obama if it's really serious. But I'm just saying it gives you context of what to ask. <laughs> it just gives you a call on your cell phone. <laughs> I mean, he just texts you. You heard what I said? Yo, hey, JT. Uh, yeah. uh, this is going down right now. Uh, but it, I, I read. I read. New York. <laughs> I read. I read my local newspaper for my like my specific neighborhood in New York, and also like some some like. See, I don't do that. I read like the New York Post. Usually, I, that'll give me. I know it sounds really, really like shallow, but yeah. how I get my news sources is how common it is. I see it like how what? the most common it is, and then like when it's like you see cited sources, yeah. you're like, is this real? And then you see all yeah. these things. So long as there's a hashtag yeah. in front of it, that's <laughs> like like right? Google, like Google <laughs> like, News is pretty good. Like <laughs> I, like I just get the news tab on. Like, well, well I didn't think too is you have, you have to worry about you know bias, you know CNN and Fox. I just don't. Honestly, if you look at newspapers from like 1900 and look at them now, it's the same shit, different century, dude. Yeah. What I, I don't what give I, a fuck. I think, I think the, the, re- the reason why I do it for, like, read news for like 15 minutes a day is because I try to cross reference all of them. So, for example, I'll read something from. Oh, seriously! <laughs> try to say cross reference or whatever. In the sense where it's like, okay, if you read something from Fox that says this, and then CNN that says this, and then Reuters and BBC that says this, but if you read a few of the same things, you get a kind of. You, you kind of get the real story. Yeah. It kind of, the bullshit kind of cuts off. How do you have off. time to do that? It's, I mean, okay, good coffee. Well, good Zach's coffee. very interested in, in this shit. And like I said, ironically, learning more about <laughs> it's it. It's depressing to like most other people. No, it's, it's, no, it's no, so no, that's my point though. I find it boring. That's my point. I, personally, I find it boring. It's boring and it's depressing. Bo- it's Here's my boring. point though. It's only depressing because you read so little of it. If you read a lot of it, it becomes the opposite. <laughs> I, I knew want, it! Osama's oh, alive! <laughs> There's like never nice news yeah, though. All, it's like war, death. I want like a super villain to come and like start holding people hostage. Uh, like, here's my other point too, though. That's what it, I want. That's the news it, I want. It does. There are people out there who like, like Stanford, for example. Love the guy, but he doesn't care about the vice president or the president or anything. Sure, like that. I don't either. But it, but my point is, it does affect you. So, for example, right now, right, Obama's reaction not being good enough to a certain political side might warrant uh, that side being stronger, bigger voter turnout, which will affect that that party's president being in charge, which will affect laws that affect you, higher taxes, lower taxes, different laws with like social like stuff. 
it does affect your life. I, I mean, it'll but, affect me, but then I'll get the heads up, and I'll be like, oh, my life's affected. My point now. is, you you could prevent it, or not prevent it, but you could at least be informed. Again, I'm not, I'm not talking down or saying you shouldn't do read the news or something. Can we talk about the meat of prior? So, hey, you said something that um, you said. Kansas hates Missouri. I said I don't want to have a fight, guys. This is gonna get really intense. Can we, can how we, serious you guys. I defend my town, state, country. I, I don't hate <laughs> Missouri. I'm just saying people from Kansas hate Missouri. One of those. Corey, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know, record. Missouri sounds like misery. Yeah. It does. It's, really it's misery? called Missouri. Not well, can misery. I say? <laughs> can I say? And they I, all might have weird accents. Kansas is literally the most boring state in the- It's a square in the middle! It's literally a perfect square, dead fucking center of the <laughs> country. Right? No exaggeration. You ever had a friend who's just corn. fucking cooking cutter boring? He made Kansas! They could have made a circle corn. or something? What? You guys have corn. You have one of the biggest, like, fucking hoo-hahs for Halloween. The our biggest our state hoo-hahs. flower is the fucking sunflower. Is it for real a perfect square? It is. It's, it's got a little notch in the top right, but it's pretty much a square. Dude, do you know what Missouri has? Water people. <laughs> Kansas is so boring the, that when fucking the, Dorothy saw something I'm not right. boring, she, she said, like, oh, we're not in boring so anymore. I saw something actually, slightly more than not boring. I, fair, a, a a ro- I went on a road trip and I wound up in Liberty, Kansas. No fucking idea where that is. Liberty is... Where, where if the state, if you're, if you're the state, is the top right, top left, the bottom left, You know, right? I don't know what quadrant or what right angle it happens to be occupied in, but I will say this. It was, I believe it was Liberty. Liberty, Kansas. I hope it's Kansas, otherwise people are going to fucking crucify me. But they did have a thing for the Wizard of Oz, like a little Dorothy thing there. Well, what else do they have going? Um, they had corn? miles and... No, I didn't see any corn, but I saw miles and miles. That's why I was so confused, because I saw Maze? miles and miles of cows. Whoa. And it was ass Before to or face. after dead. All alive. Oh. But they probably all wish they were dead because you could smell this from miles and miles away. We really? didn't even know. We thought there were dead animals in the car. But then finally, after like 20 minutes, we passed by what looked like an ocean of, like a rolling ocean of cows that were literally ass to face, packed together. Just, I mean, they literally must have been shitting in each other's faces because they were packed. For real? Like the human centipede of cows, but for feet, like miles of fields. Liberty for everyone except cows. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. No, but but I will say that they had a mean uh, uh, double Jack and Coke. And they had a really great uh, liver and onions. By the way, Kansas, despite, you say about, despite the fact that Paul Rudd is the only thing to come out of Kansas in the last 500 years, <laughs> is the fact that they have very good barbecue. That's yeah, right. no, no, meat. I think yeah. they do meat yeah, very, yeah, very well. Yeah, very good, yeah. Yeah, we're just being had a cow. Speaking of things that <laughs> speaking of things that are on, on the, the way deal. to other things, yes. Any of you who've ever spent time in the great golden state of California, the yeah. great dream state, which, by the way, for people who don't know, John is from. Yeah, I am from California. California, the, the great yeah. dream state, the, is that why the gold so rush all the time. <laughs> that's what. No, that's my fucking Middle Eastern blood. You <laughs> goddamn <laughs> racist. That's the that's the that's the snake venom through his veins. Yeah. Him, him hissing. If you drive from LA to Las Vegas, yes. Halfway through, there's like an alien um, alien jerky place where uh, you can get oh, like yeah. the is best. It Roswell is it New Mexico? It's not Roswell. It's somewhere in the, in that area. Yeah, New Mexico. I think it's on the way to. I don't know what you're talking about. They, they Hot sell sauce beef and jerky. jerky. It's, hot sauce and jerky. Yeah, and it's maybe the best beef jerky I've ever Really? Had, and the ever. hot sauce? But it's shaped like an alien. Did they tell you what kind of meat it actually Hold on, is. but it's shaped like an alien? Yeah, it's alien. No, no, no. That's just like the brand. But they it, say it's, it's an alien? Because it's alien because it's in the middle of the desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, anyways. Is they, it beef? They have, I think so. There's all sorts mm. of different kinds. I mean, like, it's a, there's so many different flavors. Holy, just hot damn it. So, we, we went that one time together. I don't remember. You What's, don't remember when we all went to Vegas? That was the alien place? Yeah, yeah. Remember we stopped by What's the that hot sauce measured I remember we saw... You were there too! Yeah, what do you measure we hot We went sauce? together! Yeah, yeah we, we went... I, I completely forget. What, yeah. When do you, um... What do you measure uh, hot as? Like, there's like a term for it. Oh, yeah, it. it's, um... Oh, the... Uh, 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 Capsaicin? Yeah, Scoville. The Sco- Scoville. Scoville. He really Scoville. wanted to get that one out. No, but I... Re- Scoville? Because when I was in San Diego, Scoville units, but... I, Scoville! Be, or something like that, but when I went to... Scoville! San, when I went to... Yes! Scoville! Bingo! When I went Jared to San Diego, Fogel. there was a, a hot sauce bar, and there was something called Da Bomb, and it was in a glass case, and when I bought it, it was in a tiny little vial, but when I bought it, I had to sign a waiver. Oh, dude, That I would not sue them if anything fucking happened. Did you hear what happened with Da Bomb? There's like some thing where they like... I know, I'm waiting for this. uh, There was like, um... (laughs) I think it might have been a thing, but there was like a school where they put it in the chili. (laughs) Oh, well that would cause a lot of ass bleeds. It has the the same amount of hotness that they put in pepper spray. Oh, you know, even more... And the thing is, it's like you only need a tiny little bit, but I remember like if you get really drunk... 
you do stupid shit like pour hot sauce on things and like I'd get like a halal platter of lamb or something I'd get really drunk at <laughs> the like 3 one, in the morning you've been to halal guys in Midtown? Uh, I've been to almost all of them right but, but, do you yes. know, no, but do you know halal guys the, the one that says we are different in Midtown? no 6th Avenue you've never been there? not the we are different one. one that's like the fucking halal of all the fucking <laughs> I'm serious like this place see I'm going to the halals um, in, in Astoria in so, Astoria? okay so there, there's some pretty legit halal in Astoria well I'm not saying your halal's not legit I feel like we have a bit of a, like, a, like a Queens Manhattan rivalry going on. No, 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 it's fine. I'm not going to go there with you because like, I'm I right like and you're wrong. But I was fuck you, I was going to say I want to try your Astoria ass shaved. Yeah, but I already tried it all, so think. That's the call. Whoa. No, 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 I was going to say we've been talking about New York stories uh, as far as is the food, but I heard there were New York stories that involved you guys. The context all. of this is we all decided it was a good idea to go to Bunkade. It was myself, yeah, we went to John, Marks. John, Chris. Niall and Corey. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, there is a bunkade, and right, be right above that is a karaoke place. Yeah. Which is a perfect mix. It's, it, it, they know what they're doing. So we had a few beers. Corey had more than a few. Um, I, had, I think I had one or Corey two. Corey had more than a few. We all, we all, we all pretty, I had a shit ton as well. We all pretty good well. drunk. I kept I was, bringing in bottles of wine and soju. No, no, that was at the karaoke place. <laughs> After yeah. we would whip the karaoke, and while this was going on, John's ordering Long Island's for the whole class. Yeah. Oh my god. Bringing it up for the whole class. I, and, and let me tell you something, John. I was already like. Corey was dead. I, got, I came can't in tell when you guys sat are down drunk. And you got Long Island. My eyes lit up because I love Long yeah, Island. Yeah, it was a part yeah. where we were all just sitting there going, ha ha, fun, well, let's go home. And then you were like, I got Long Island. And you gave them to everybody. And I was yeah. like, oh. And then, I'm that sorry. Happened, that, I, happened, that happened, what, two when I get, and then When I get to partying, I just become a raging alcoholic. We'll get to that. Yeah. But the, the interesting thing, so after like three long rounds of Long Island, probably two or three, and also, also on, top of, on top of the beers we already had, I looked over at Corey, and you know, Corey was a big smiley boy the whole time. But, it, but his face changed, and everybody else was staring at the screen. I didn't I notice staring, anything was wrong. I was looking at Corey, he was looking at the ground, it's and that his mouth sensation. was open. It's that sensation you have where you know something bad's about to happen, and it's I, suddenly all the fun. I, like, it's apparently, like, Zach saw it's that like, sensation. It's like if you were hearing. Me, me and Zach did. We, we yeah, no, if you were I looked hearing at Corey, song, Corey said, everything I'm just puke. gets quiet, and you just hear your heartbeat, and you're just like, yeah. oh no. And then it hits you. And I saw Corey, and he was looking at the ground, and he didn't puke. You can leak out of your mouth. It just, yeah. just, it just came out. It just oh, it no, 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 it was like. Bah. What's weird is too. What's weird is too. It's like when someone turns off the music and then it's like, everything comes yeah. back at you. You're just like, dude, that happened right, to me I'm once. That, that happened to me once when I ate a weed edible. A weed. When you ate a weed, you a ate weed, weed edible. You ate a weed. You it was ate in like Venice too? Beach or something, and we were like playing some Smash Bros, and all of a sudden everything went. Yeah, it's dude. It's shitty feeling. It's terrifying, and I hated it because yeah. afterwards, you, and right when I got up. You, uh, I, I left because this was this was way before, and I went out there and I, I sat there. And the Asian the guy was kind of looking at me the while he's cleaning. Yeah, right. and I was just sitting there looking at the ground. And then I got up and went back in and sat down. And then I'm like, okay, I want to leave. And then right when I got up, you came back in with a big thing of wine. And you're like, let's go. <laughs> John, like, John, John literally walks with a full bottle of wine. Full bottle, At that point, I was so fucking gone. So we, so we, we all say, okay, we need to leave right now. Chris, yeah, yeah. Actually, Chris actually, I knew, I noticed something was wrong. Yeah, I was trying to be the responsible one. I was like, I was trying not to get drunk, but I was still getting very Chris, drunk indeed. Chris saved my life. No, I, I, I was about so ready we'll to get to that. The so wait, 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 so this has all... to be time, time to order. Okay, yeah. so we're signing out of the. No, you came with the wine, right? We all get yeah. even more drunk. I noticed that you guys were like getting done with it because you're like, yeah, we just can't drink that. No, I was saying over and over, I was like, John, we need to know when to stop. No, here. you kept saying we gotta go. We yeah, gotta go, saying, dude. Yeah. I was saying that because everyone was, like was falling apart. Apart. You sound like she a kid like, whose parents were about to get home with the I was trying to be the good one. the head, wrecked your fucking house. Yeah. Look, I know, you, you want to fucking say that? From the end of the story, which I'm not going to give away, it sounds like Chris actually was a little in tune to what the fuck was I was trying to be, but this is the point. Sounds like he was too late. The future would have been fine. No, wait, wait, wait. So let me tell this one part, right? So we're still like, okay, we gotta get out of here. Then John comes in with more drink. We're like, fuck's sakes, we all start drinking. Corey goes, bat all over the floor. And we're just like, I didn't notice. Yeah, no, me and Zach were like, what the, what? what? And, and then, uh, no one like, noticed. I I nobody it. noticed except for me and Zach. And then uh, that's when I was like, we have to go. And then that's when I pushed you guys out. We were all in the, the main area, right? And then we, <laughs> okay, we were trying to sign out. We were trying to go for that, that nice Asian boy. I gotta tell this part. Because <laughs> oh, you, this got, you and Zach okay. did something in the boys' bathroom. Whoa. Oh, okay, so, so, yeah, we'll tell you. We'll I don't know this part. What do we do in the boys' bathroom? So, while Corey and Chris went to go to the checkout, I was like, I have to take a piss. So I was like, so do I. Now this is one bathroom, with, like a locked door bathroom. <laughs> one bathroom, fine, two guys. Which is because it had a urinal and a yeah. toilet, and they were facing away. But 
Now it's like, I have to go pee too. We're like, no, there's only- We're telling him this? Yeah. Okay. And so we're like, no, no, we can't. We, there's only two <laughs> places we can pee. <laughs> and so we go in there, and he pisses in the sink. <laughs> in the sink! Oh, yeah! Well, you and I piss in the fucking responsible I adults. I completely forgot he pissed in the sink! Wait, you yes. guys, like, responsible adults were crossing streams no, into the, the toilet. Well, separate into the room. Oh, separate into okay, the room. Okay, still okay. eat the, right. the floor. Yeah. They wouldn't now piss each other. in the sink. That's he pissed right. in the sink. He's like, don't worry, I'll just piss in the sink. God, now everyone's gonna know exactly where this now piss sink is. He's a he's a piss sinker. A sink pisser. Sink pisser. Sink pisser. I had nothing to do with that. I had nothing to do with that. Sink pisser. I had nothing so, to do with that sink piss. We were we were innocent. We were bystanders. Although we I did piss. find Watch it very hilarious after the fact. Oh, okay. So we go to the lobby. Yeah. We see Corey. His his eyes are widening. His eyes are dilating. I gotta tell the Corey part because it's not one Please part I remember. Please take it away. My favorite part of the night. We're fucking signing out this poor fucking Korean man boy. Bill. The fucking super oh, rich yeah. bill. Was it like eight hundred dollars? It was like, it was like four hundred. It, it was a large was bill. This poor Korean boy is checking us out. We're all just fucking drunk up our ass. And and I'm just like he's like is this everybody? And I'm like no 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 our friend back here. I motioned to. Corey. He's standing <laughs> he's standing in the back corner fucking dead in the eyes and as soon as we all look back he just goes Boom! <laughs> <laughs> and fucking barf straight onto the ground. It was like a movie I look, no, I look back to the fucking Korean kid to see what he to see what his reaction was. He's just deadpan, <laughs> looking was, directly at there me. There was no effort. Yeah. I literally, I literally just got up and went. Yeah. 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 I didn't tap even into move. that Korean's that Korean kid's head. Yeah. It would just sound like an ear piercing tone. Chris like, was fucking. Beep. Yeah. Like he's then, just totally out. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Nile. Nile came in and he was like, <laughs> he's like, all right, I cleaned it up. I cleaned up this mess. And I'm like, yeah, and you went, and then, yeah, and then I, was, I was like, Nile, there's still puke in the other room. And then we just fucking left. What were you no. saying? What? When we, when we left oh the place, God. um, we got two separate cabs. So right? one, ca one cab was uh, uh, was me was, and Corey. Was John was John Nicole and I. Yeah. I got we got one cab, and then Corey, Nile, Not, and yeah. Chris got the other cab. Okay. Now John, the John was address. We got home peacefully. We forgot to give you his address. Yeah, I yeah. think right. Yeah. So what happened was me and okay, Corey was glossed. He was in another dimension. His brain was out. Mm -hmm. It was done. So I was dragging Corey around uh, like a little child <laughs> through the streets of New York. I was apologizing. And I was trying. I felt so bad. For you me. weren't. You're going. Oh. And then you were like. <laughs> And I you, was, were, you were like, you were like, this is the best night. I'm like, I'm sorry. I was having like, a good time because amazing. I was taking care of you, right? And when you have something to do while you're drunk like that, you're like, I feel like a king. But when I brought you over to a taxi cab, I was like, Corey, I finally got a taxi cab. Please come over. And you're like, oh. And he got into the taxi cab, and I was like, we don't have an address. Shit. And I, and I tried calling John. I tried texting him, and for some reason he didn't respond for a while. But while we were sitting there in the cab, you were they like, were back at the apartment laughing. They, they were back to the apartment. Wait, you didn't just go straight back to my apartment? No. Why? We, 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 look, this is. I'm gonna try to get through it. Me and Corey were sitting there, when, and I was sitting on the other side. And I was like, okay, uh, I'm calling John, and Corey's like. <laughs> All over the back of the taxi. Oh, oh God, you brought it to the taxi. Oh, yes. No. Right? Was like, like, they oh, hate that. For fuck's sake. They hate that. So, right, no. and then the guy's like, my, my taxi, my taxi, get get the fuck out. And I was like, I'm sorry, sir. And we, we both got out of the taxi. Did you pay? That's the thing. I was like, just like, I got 20 he was like, I, 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 you must pay me. And I was like, how much do you want? He's like, uh, $30. And I was like, no, you're getting $20. <laughs> I, like I could have this clean for five, but I'm in a hurry. So here, I gave him twenty dollars, and then we went over to a store, and Nile ate a sandwich, and we got another taxi. That's right, you went to get sandwiches. Yeah, we got sandwiches, right? And I was Chris, like, yeah. If somebody came up in your bedroom and just puked all over your bed, I didn't do it. Hold a on. fucking idiot here. This <laughs> taxi cab is not a bed. Hey, if somebody puked all over your desk and your floor and your bed, yeah. How much would you expect someone I'd to be pay you? Twenty dollars. Walk away from it. Look, okay. We're gonna pay a hobo. Thing, we'll, we'll get to that, Chris. We'll get to that. Hobo, use your spit we'll to clean it. We'll get to fucking that. The the we'll get to fucking day two with you, Chris. <laughs> Listen, the back of a taxi cab. Oh yeah, have day pens two. Or paper or little work things. Okay. They're leather and they're plastic, so it's easy enough to clean or spray up or whatever. Did, I will uh, say, I would not like if someone did it, but I didn't do it, and I paid for your mess. I do. I, I'm a good I, boy. I appreciate but that. But anyways, when when we finally got another taxi, Corey was like. <laughs> the entire way, and I was like, Corey, if you puke, I will fucking kill you. And he was just like, Windows are four. I'm about to puke. And I was like, Corey, if you fucking puke, I will kill you. So we, we arrived, and the second the door opened, BOOM! Oh, on the side man. of the. You know, he got it's out. It was still like, there, dude. Thank God, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah no. Oh, hold, hold on. Before we say that, because yeah. it's really weird. In the second taxi, 
I remember getting into the taxi <laughs> and immediately the door opening, and I'm like, wait, are yeah. we, am I leaving? But I was there. I blink, I blacked out in the taxi, and then yes. when they stopped the car, I woke Corey up. was in another dimension, trying yes. not to. So, puke. No, so the I mean, puke was formulating in my body, waiting for me to become conscious yeah. again. And when I was, <laughs> immediately when I opened the door, the second the door, door opened. I was walking and vomiting all the way up to your house. I puked. Four times up to your house. Oh you were like my God. God. I was fucking puking on doors. I was puking on animals walking by. I was fucking <laughs> bombing everywhere, dude. Yeah. You I can't believe how much you can puke. Now, from our perspective, we were eating sandwiches at John's ice cozy apartment. The yes. Completely beautiful cab ride watching <laughs> TV. Watching I know. I, I wasn't. Sand. I wasn't that drunk. Drinking no. champagne. So, looking so at the stars. Now, now you know their side. Let me tell our side. We got in the cab. Yeah. We we get there pretty pretty all right. Yeah. We go we order sandwiches, but do you remember what you said to me when we got home? No, I don't remember. Let's do shots. <laughs> he, pulled out, he pulls out a fucking bottle of gin. I I took one. I but it was at the point that he was just. Guess I'm an alcoholic. Bag. <laughs> These guys still go with the fucking sandwiches. Like, where, where'd you guys get sandwiches? Like, I don't know. We all lay down. I didn't puke. Kristen puke. Oh, didn't wait, puke. wait, wait, now before you say um, that, I will make no accusations, wait, but I will say this: I passed out immediately when I came in. I saw a, By the way, a oh, bunch yeah, this of clothes. Is, hold on, guys, this is the who done it part of the. Immediately, yeah, this is the guess who clue yeah. edition. Okay, yeah. I fucking came in and immediately passed out on a pair of clothes and fucking water. If I would have puked, like a dog, dude. Yeah, just, I just immediately. So, so, so Corey, it, Corey, it was Mr. Corey in the living room. Wait, no, Corey, Corey, Corey's not the clothes. The clothes. We were all in the living room. That's the thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. We were all Corey, I don't think Corey was the culprit. Corey passed out. That's the, he wrapped like I'm a drug, the dog girl, like this. a drug college girl. He wrapped his body around the wall. He did go to sleep right away. Yeah. Immediately passed out. Okay. Chris lounged us up to the couch. I did not puke. I had zero urge to puke says at all. You. Yeah. I did not puke. Yeah. Says you. And I'll says you. And I'll a little why. too. Look, stop you protest too much. You're jumping to accusations, wait, wait, and you're the one who's talking. Let me talk. Whoever so, smelt it, so smelt I, it. Yes! I, I removed my Sorry. clothes, put them on a nice pile on the ground, and went to puked. bed. Oh, shit! Went to bed. Puked Woke and up, then put it back down. Went to get my clothes, lifted the clothes, <laughs> and somebody, somebody had puked on the floor oh, and yeah. put my clothes <laughs> on yeah, the floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> somebody <laughs> puked on the floor and put your clothes, and that's why, we, at first we were confused. You picked it up like, wait, why is my clothes I pukey? Was like, it was not me. I cannot black out at any hey. point. I remember everything 100%. <laughs> so it was either Niall or uh, Chris. It I don't know me. who it was. You, it was not you me. You did puke, uh, uh, but you did hey, puke, Hey, Chris, wait. Didn't you? You did Listen, puke, though. I'm getting to that. I fell asleep on his amazing electric recliner, and then I woke up and there was puke all over at my feet, and I was like, "Oh, that's right!" Shit. And there was puke at your. Oh yeah, I woke up the next morning and there was just a like a pizza of puke. There was right pizza of puke <laughs> on and, my feet, and, and, and I, I just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we kept trying to isolate the puke by putting it in bags and tying it, but then like every new now and then we'd, we'd, we'd smell a new <laughs> fucking like draft of it, and we're like, "Where's that coming from?" There was puke all over Did the apartment. Did you ever see Snake Eyes? Oh, I forget exactly what you happened. This is you what know, happened. No, right? no, no, no. I woke up the next morning and I went into my bathroom which no, is No, 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 let us t tell it from the beginning. I went and you and Nicole were about to go to sleep. We, 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 we don't have to include that, but whatever. So I, I don't I give a fuck. Whatever. It's, it's, okay, yeah. I'm just saying, but I was like we I went to you and I was like, someone's in the bathroom. Can I use your bathroom? And you're like, uh, Yeah, yeah, okay. somebody was in the upstairs bathroom, so my room is, it has an open, like, my room, my, my house is like a duplex, so the bottom floor is open to the top and yeah. the, somebody was using the bathroom. He comes down the stairs to use the bottom floor bathroom because somebody was in it. He goes in there yeah. And then I think you went to sleep. Yeah, when I went in and I, I laughed and I was like, good night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess you didn't even, you fucking weasel. <laughs> you think I wouldn't find out? Yeah, the so next... the next morning I come upstairs and I'm like, who fucking puked in my bathroom? It was and when. But his bathroom is like two feet by two feet, so the entire floor was covered in puke. Yeah, he puked. And, and, and so, no, but so, wait, no, it gets better. Yeah, it, no, gets it, better. Gets better. it gets better. It gets better. I don't remember how this happened. You might remember. Mm -hmm. But you, f you were trying to clean the puke, <laughs> but instead. <laughs> You flooded the toilet yes. so the water came out, filled the entire bathroom, I, and sloshed your puke around it with puke water. <laughs> it wasn't the bathroom. The bathroom was. I, 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 John, when you when you get really anxious, you do this thing where your whole body just shuts down and you stare and you say nothing, and you, you do, you're like, dude, my fucking bathroom is just filling up with water right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't puke stopping. It was, it, was, it, was, it was literally filling Wait, up. You, you're like, what do I do? You just get really quiet. You just shut down. You're like, dude, my fucking bathroom is just filling up with water. <laughs> and it was his, his bathroom was filled with the crystal. 
puke. And Chris and I were like red face stop. laughing. We were crying laughing. Well, Joe was like, I was fucking laughing. I was fucking. That was the most. I was in fucking tears, dude. I was so stressed. I was really stressed. I was stressed. I was, I was the worst was the part. Sidelines. It was the worst hangover ever. And now I had to fucking defuse this one situation. No. And the thing is, I wasn't trying to be a dick and make you clean it, but I was like, Chris, I can't, or yeah. I'll puke into it. I, I, I didn't <laughs> want you to. No, like, like honestly, had it been anything else, I'd be like, I take care of it, dude. Don't worry. I didn't want you to. But I, I wasn't like being like clean it up. But I was like, I can't. I literally can't because I'm. I don't I'm squeamish. I'm squeamish to puke. I'm really squeamish to puke too. But it was your own puke. Not so bad. Did you realize that the mental image? What? No, this you, entire evening here's the worst metal it's image. It's just like this haunted house. It was. It was a just puke. It was this. Vomit. It's hey. under the couch. It's on the floor. It's under the clothes. Mickey was real, it's dude. It's, it's real, real in the dude. bathroom. It's leaking. You, you're this stepping here. This is this is not, that's it's not the, the worst metal image. It's Mick, in the karaoke place. It's in the cab. It's on the sidewalk. Mick, <laughs> listen. <laughs> you think the metal image of a toilet spewing pu- or shit onto puke and mopping it up is bad, right? I had to chisel dry puke out of the cracks of the floor with a plastic spoon. Oh, you did? Yes! <laughs> oh, that's gross. It was fucking, fucking disgusting. It was the worst. <laughs> I have. I'm really squeamish to puke. I don't really. I puke. hate it. I vomit. That's yeah. why I was like. That's why I looked like I saw a fucking ghost because really? puking is one of the things that terrifies. Oh, okay. Me. I did I not get. That. Like, how do you puking. not get sympathetically sick to your stomach just looking at these guys? What do you mean? Based on your fucking experience with say, all of them in your house, your whole house smelling like a fucking vomit train John, for a John, week. I remember that like you would just we cleaned up. We fucking like you know we we uh, we'd we were cleaning like, up for like three or four like days. Like a murder still, scene. Even like you still, chopped all the body it parts bad. together. It was a full on even, bender. Even yeah, still. It's kind of like it's kind of like puke near me. Shame on you. Puke, sh puke near. What are you me talking about? What, <laughs> what is this? Is this a stroke? Yeah. Wh <laughs> what's that? What's that saying? Like, uh, fool me once, shame on you. Yeah. Fool me twice, shame on me. It's like that. Yeah. Like, but we mentioned that you know we you we, we talked about the cab driver freaking out. Uh, it triggered a memory. Why you fuck do that? Yeah, why, why you why fuck do this, fucker? We should what talk the about. Fuck is this? We have some very good cab stories. One particular. One yes. Was. This was insane. I gotta do the impression of the guy because I've got it down perfectly. So, so yeah. So, so we were like in Union Square. Where were we? We were taking a cab to go get some food. I think we're going to Barcade. It was were yeah. We, we going? went to Barcade. It was Nikki. We were. Yeah, it was Nikki and I, you and Nicole, and we got in the cab, and it was around the same time where that story broke of the video of the guy shooting the news reporters. Yeah, the in in you uh, see that? in yeah, yeah, in yeah. like Virginia. Right, yeah. yes, it's like it's like POV video of some crazy guy shooting. Yeah. Shot the reporter, shooting. yeah, it, it right. live, or whatever and so it was. so we get in this guy's cab, and... I was in the front, okay, the cab was a like a sedan Camry type cab. <laughs> I was in the front, th them three were in the back. Uh, Nicole, Zach, and Nikki were in the back, I was in the front. And, <laughs> and uh, he was just, when we first got in, he's a Korean guy, he's just fucking catatonic. I mean, just cat a fucking tonic. <laughs> Taxi driver, for yeah. Scorsese, catatonic, whatever. Something leashed, there's something inside, though. Yeah, well, I something honestly, a lot of those cab drivers just look dead inside, so I yeah. don't fucking know. So anyways, he, he's going along, and, and then I think... At some point, you or I mentioned the video, or I don't know. What oh, it was. it was on. You know, those little taxis had little screens in the back. Yeah, and was, they were talking about that. I was like, "Isn't that horrible? That this guy? It's so weird that it could just yeah. happen." Yeah, and then and, and, Jimmy and then and then I think I I said something like, "Oh yeah, like this this." Uh, he was like, "What happened?" or something. And yeah, I was he was like, asking. He was quite. No, no, I remember about. because it was so exact. You said something like. Man, he just shot him right on camera. And then oh, fucking yeah. from his catatonic <laughs> days, he fucking springs up and says, Oh, yeah? Yeah, he shot him? Oh, he shot him? And I was like, what? What? <laughs> and he was like, oh, he shoot on the camera, bang, bang, how he shoot? And I was like, yeah, he, he shot, what do you mean, dude? And he's like, it's a brain, it's a blood, how you shoot him? No, he did. He did. Real. He was like, real. can you see the bullet? Yeah. The you blood bullet, out the you put a blood and brain come out? And I was like, uh, yeah, dude, like, you didn't really see it. Like, he just kind of, like, shot him a couple times. He's like, oh, he's probably, uh, he a gay or something? He gay? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. What? And, and, and then, okay, now I, at this point, Realize that we have a situation on our hands. Right. Actually, everyone does. And so I did what I do best. What Fucking I Zach, of course, fucks with the guy while I'm sitting next to him. <laughs> well, Zach, like, oh yeah, no, this is this, everywhere. This is what I hear come from yeah, the back seat. Do it, dude. <laughs> this is this is what I hear from the back. Yeah, dude, her's fucking gay. Yeah, her is gay. Fucking egging the guy on. <gasps> he's like, oh, he gay. They saw a news report. He gay. Yeah, dude, the fucking news report said he's gay. That's I was, I I was like, yeah, it was like a love triangle. I heard he yeah. killed because he was a gay. No, lover. no, like, he said it's a love triangle. Oh, uh, probably he a gay and uh, she gay. Uh, he yeah. love her. Yeah. And you love him, how else it be? Uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, that's exactly what happened. And you know, he's like, I know it, I yeah. know it. No, no, <laughs> and John, and then, John, John freezes up and he can just, he's looking. 
<laughs> yeah, and then oh. and then fucking all I all I can okay, and then he says he says in Korea that's how it happened. He's like, let me give you an example. He looks at yes, me. Yes, he's he's fucking this. he's fucking not looking at the road. He's just hand on the wheel looking at me. He he looks at me. Let me give you an example. I I come to you and I say I fucking stab you. I I kill you. <laughs> Are you fuck my wife? Are you fuck my wife? He goes, I was like, I don't know, dude. Yeah, know. yeah, and I was like, yeah, dude. I don't know what I fucking. Oh. I, I guess I go crazy. He's like, what do you do if I say you fuck my wife? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, what do you do if I say I fuck your wife? Huh? You come, you stab me right here, right here. And and, and, and I, Jones, I, he was like, okay, I think this is our spot. We fucking. <laughs> I swear to God, we walk fucking the rest of the like, four stopped, blocks. We stop like halfway through the ride. I'm like, that's it, dude. Oh, look at that. I I, I said Eighth Avenue. I meant six. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's, dude, that was one of the scariest tab him, rides. Like, I don't know if you what? want to tell the story. Like, did you? Did he already know like the destination? You just like, oh. He did know. I just told him know. to let us off. There was another cab driver story I had though. Yeah. It, that was a personal one though. I had this one guy who was just like, <laughs> I, I fucking hit you. <laughs> I sent him you to the hospital. <laughs> And he just kept fucking do, and it was what? weird, dude. That was one of the weirdest cabs. You know, I kind of understand this whole talking thing. himself. Yeah, you, you know, like one of those medallions costs like almost a million dollars. It used to. Shit. Now it's like six hundred k because of Uber. But still, it's going oh down. yeah, yeah. yeah. Going. But still, that's a big chunk of money. It's absolutely insane because they, they what they do is they they lease the medallion. The guy who yeah. owns the medallion is sitting at home, fucking in his house or penthouse, yeah. just fucking chilling. Was it, was it you or somebody that was mentioning? There was some dude where like he like inherited like ten medallions from. Oh like, my god, you'd be rich for like the rest and the guy like never worked another day in his life. Yeah, you buy the medallion, then you just lease it out. And, yeah. and these guys, then basically these guys lease the medallion from you and the car, I yeah. believe. What's car from from somewhere else. Somewhere. But explain to, show show to the New Yorkers what that we were talking oh, about. Oh yeah, the medallion. <clears throat> yeah. The, the New York City taxis have a thing. If you ever see the thing punched in the front, it's called <laughs> a medallion, and yeah. you, it's a basically a license. But there's like only a limited number, so they 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 have yeah. like a basically like a stock market, not stock market, uh auction house yeah, for yeah, it kind yeah. of thing and uh it's really kind of fucked up and it's it's not really a good system <clears throat> i think the people who who drive the taxis there might even be a middleman between the medallion owner i'm and assuming them. there has to be some like <clears throat> leasing plan there like is. a payment plan or something there is yeah i'll say this i've seen a lot of really terrible jobs i think being a new york city taxi driver is one of the worst most soul crushing, lowest paying jobs I've ever seen. I don't know how anyone sure. does it. It's a terrible system. And anytime they have, you know, when they have a fair where where some where the people seem kind and nice, just half nice, right. like, all of a sudden it's like the it, it's like the clouds just part, and what they feel like they can talk and they can be themselves. They actually they are can... very nice a lot of the time. Absolutely, but, but they have to be. So I've seen people stiff. Were you with me when that lady stiffed? Which stiff? Were you remember that lady was like, I can't pay. At, what, 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 At, in a cab? cab? No, I don't think so. You weren't there? Why were you in a cab with her? No, I wasn't in a cab. She was getting out of a cab that we were going to grab. Oh. And she wouldn't pay the guy. And they can just lose a $20 fare. Yeah. And it's like, you already have to pretty much be perfect to make even a meager living. Exactly. I you don't know how they do it. You can't really do it with Uber because Uber, like, it doesn't allow you, if you don't pay a, like, if you- Uber put protects cancel, them. Well, if you put, if you put, like, a canceled credit card in, yeah. you can't, it says pay this before you, like, get another Uber. You yeah. can't do that. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. It, it has ways around Uber, that. actually, like, Uber's not a better service necessarily because I like hailing a cab. Yeah. But I don't know, they, they, the NYC- Commission needs to fucking. I'm like, surprised that they even allow Uber in New York. Well, that's the thing they the tried to staple. stop it. Well, in Taipei they did. I think Uber was, was around France, in Taipei for a while, and the, the the Chinese were like, "Fuck you, we're gonna turn you into dumplings." Fuck to, off. to be fair, I don't know what to think about it because Uber's one of those things where they're offering a better service. It's for a, better a better service price. for cheaper. Yeah, better and service, and you get to see where you're going. Like you have a direction. I think the overhead is so low. That's get, the thing. They don't have to buy a million dollar yeah. medallion. You know what's crazy? And it's good for them too because I I have guys. They always say, I literally, I've had so many guys who say like. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm retired. I just try to stop when I feel like working. I turn off when yeah. I don't feel like working. Yeah, you know That's what's crazy? One of the only times I was ever like politically conflicted was this. Uh, there was a point when Uber was trying to stop NYC from crushing them, mm. so they offered free Uber rides to like City Hall to like to protest it. Okay. But I was thinking about it. I was like, on one hand, I love the iconic NYC taxi. I like hailing them, and they are what I would prefer to see over Ubers. But I was like, no, you can't just squash competition. It's a democracy. It like is. Right. So I actually voted, or I wrote 
be senator, governor, whatever the fuck. I, I wrote somebody and I said like, don't squash this competition. So as much as I do like NYC cabs, look, it's yeah. it's they it's, need to revise their yeah. system. They need to have their own Dude, Uber. If you, if you want if you want to beat Uber, be better. That's all it takes. Right. Just be better. That's Me it. Me and Zach and Corey were in LA and we got in a cab and we were supposed to be going to the airport. He, he took a, a probably thirty right turns. Yeah, what is that? Corey and Chris were the back and I was like staring at the windows. He like, might have been trying to scam you. No, he, was. he was. He was. Remember, Chris? I turned around. I, I said like. I, just, I remember, yeah, I was... I, what I say to you, I said, I said, look. Yeah, no, I, I was like, yeah, I know. Let's yeah. I caught a cab driver, he tried to take me, I asked him to take me to fucking uh, Brooklyn, he took me all the way out to Jamaica, or some shit, and, and I was like, bro, what are you doing? He turned off the meter, it, it happens sometimes. Jamaica? It, it's, it, Queens. It, basically, my point, oh. my, oh yeah, Jamaica, Queens. My point basically is that sometimes you just have to tell cab drivers, like, I know what you're fucking yeah. doing. And then they're like, oh shit, <laughs> they turn off the fucking meter. <laughs> like, they, I don't know. Like, it's, it's just easier to do, especially if you got a cell phone, unless you're stupid trashed, in which case they kind of can do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. Uh, but if you have your cell phone going and you've got the maps too, you can be like, oh, well, I always, this I route? always pull my app, but the thing is, Uber is like infinitely better. Uber is like people like you and me pretty much. Yeah. Right. The, the, they're uh, good. They're good. Have you, have you guys noticed this like weird inside job where every Uber ride guy's like, do you use Lyft? And you're like, no, he's like, here's this fucking car. It's way better than Uber. It lifts has like 20 times. Lyft is good. But a lot of times, Uber guys also work for Lyft. Like, Uber sucks. Yeah. It fucking stinks. Use Lyft. I, I, I like, like Uber. Whoa, no, Uber what I like about Uber is everybody's trying to, it's like somebody's trying to sell you something. Like, you get in their thing and it's like, yeah. you're having fun. I have some, uh, I have a water cooler. They always here. have the water. Yeah. Hey, this is a water I have a really funny. But that, that, but that doesn't always. Go ahead. No, I don't want to. But I just had a funny it, story about it's Uber. A, it's a small thing, but I remember when we were going to um, Mixed Place. I don't know. I, I think it might have been my birthday. Yeah, it was my birthday. We're, I was going to your place um, with Lexi, and was there someone else with us? Oh yeah, Doodle. Doodle was with us. So we were in the cab. Shout out to Doodle. We got in the Uber, and the guy, the guy kept stopping, and he was like, he had a smile on his face, but he kept turning, and he was like, I drove 19 minutes to get you guys and stuff. He's like. I drove 19, we were like, yeah, okay, dude. Oh, yeah, tip me, please. Yeah, he said that, like, he, he, I swear to fucking God, he said that, like, five times. He was, like, laughing, like, ha, ha. 18 minutes to get here for you guys. <laughs> but eventually, yeah, it's it. I, and see, luckily Lexi knows how to carry a conversation with fucking anybody. So she's just like, yeah, we really appreciate that. And she's like trying to keep him. And he's just like, I live, I live right here. I live right here. It's only 13 minutes away. 18 minutes. I was going to get other person, but I come here 18 minutes. Because hey, uh, I care canceled, about you. you fucking asshole. But it's like, yeah, it's just like you get these people. You just kind of like feel like, are you trying My to favorite part about Uber is on the website. It says, "Don't tip these fuckers." I when Does I took it? the first when I took the first three, I was like, "Do I tip you?" They're like, no, don't fucking worry about it. They just drive away. They don't. They don't. I, they don't I, accept I don't, tips. I don't tip Uber. They don't accept they don't, tips. They don't, they don't seem to like want it. I, they, I tried. They don't accept it tips. It seems like they they keep the charge in mind and add a tip. To I think it. it's yeah, but it's still super super cheap. I think yeah. Uber actually does factor out to be a little bit. But no, you know. I've taken Uber. It, 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 the, oh, I'll tell you the one thing Uber does that that okay, the like services. a regular cab service. Now this doesn't count for most cities. Only like really big like metropolitan cities like New York, like hail service versus Uber. Uber has a uh, surge pricing. Yeah, sucks. So that can, that but but again that's like that's pricing? very rare. They, uh, it's not rare they, at all. They, they they make you pay double to get more drivers out in the yeah. road. Could be well, so three, supply and demand. Supply and demand. There's like it's like yeah it is. But no, a hail service never has that. There's very there's very few drivers on the road, but everyone wants drivers, so you're gonna pay more if you want a driver. It's that basic kind of thing. But oh, so and like there's a, there's also controversy about that happening during like crises, like a a weather thing or whatever, like or uh, you yeah, know, whatever's bad. going on. But Again, How much do you want to not get swept away by these floods? I've never had that happen. I mean, <laughs> yeah. 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 One time I had to pay like like times three point five. It was bullshit. Yeah, you can pay up to that much. I'm gonna get a beer. Okay. Also, another thing I kind of like about the whole like I know you can probably do this with a cab, but with an Uber you can get like they have sizes of the cars. You can get an XL, yeah, cool. like a long car, and everything. And it's great. Vic, have you ever been to Chinatown before? I what here in Philly. No, New York. Yeah. Oh, yes. What are you? What are your Both thoughts? On, what, are you, what are your thoughts on Chinatown? Well, there's two Chinatowns. There's one in. Which Dan was the one we went to, John? The one in uh, near the Lower East Side. Two bridges. Yeah, so you're you're still like um you're you're not. You been, you been to this place? Yes. No, 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 no. The, the one by two bridges. Yeah, there's the Manhattan Flushing, one. And then there's Houston. Yeah, th there's one in. If you been yeah. to this fucking Twilight Zone nuclear wasteland of a fucking shithole? <laughs> yes. This fucking freak show. I um John was. I, Joe was like, no, look, look, you know, Chinatown sucks. I was like, no, let's get a chance. Literally within the span of five minutes, the freak show, the circus rolled in. We saw like seven weird things happen within the span of like five minutes. 
<laughs> the detail story, John. My but you're favorite. talking about you're talking about the Lower East Side in general, right? No, yeah, yeah, split yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, split. dude, listen, that's gonna spill over into China. We town. saw some free. No, 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 no. We're not talking about the Lower East Side. We're talking about Chinatown. Like okay, the, like the bearded lady in the street. But also, man in the world. also to be fair, you know that Peter Pan bus and the Dragon Express roll through there. So Chinatown gets some very interesting characters from all over America. But yes, Chinatown. John, go on, go on. Explain the freaks we saw within the span of like four minutes. Freaks. Well, there was that one guy who was walking across the street and he just kept going, looking around and going, whoo. <laughs> this guy was walking towards the city went, whoo, and we all kind of were like, did he, did he just who? And then like, like 12 seconds later, whoo, 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 and he started yeah. getting more aggressive. Yeah. He started, and he like, looked at us and did it. Yeah, brisking his pace, getting faster, getting mm-hmm. more aggressive. Who's the missing whoo, link? Whoo. One, one of these people listening is going to be like, I'm from there and it's not so bad. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> that was me and I just have a tick, <laughs> you asshole. Then there was this old, the, the, the old guy, John, the fucking 80 year old man. No. You don't remember the old age? Oh, yelling at his wife? Yeah. He, he was, was yelling at his wife to get across the street. He's like, you're gonna miss the fucking bus! In Chinese, of course. Yeah, just, but he was very, very calm. I didn't know you spoke Chinese! Yeah. Very That's calm. awesome. I didn't. I don't. I just know. And there is a bit. It's a universal it's a language. Universal. There's yeah, a universal. Right. You're gonna miss the fucking bus. Chinese, you're gonna miss the fucking bus. Uh, you here. could say, uh, be quiet, yeah. Oh, exactly what was that? Cheese, you told, huh? <laughs> was just you that. Stars. That's almost exactly what we heard. Shut up. Anyways, go on. No, that was just a story. Like I was baffled with the amount of freaks we saw with such a freaks short span. Freaks, freaks, freak freaks. Shows. Not all of them are freaks. Missing legs, fucking. So far, your freaks com- are, are comprised of a guy who says "who" and Chinese people. So let us continue. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'll say this. Yes, everybody who's Chinese is a freak, so who's a freak is Chinese, okay? I'll say that much. Uh, okay, like, let me just say, I don't know where... Zach's being a bit strong with the freak. They're not freaks, but, like, there was well, some crazy shit that yes, goes on in Chinatown. Yes, yes, of course. I think, I think, like, that's, like, a Twilight Zone episode. I mean, like, okay, I, well, I think what Zach's trying to say is when we were down there, there's just, like, it's this feeling of being out of place there. It's a little strange. No, there are freaks. I'll say they're freaks. Yes. I'm sick of my freaks. I, I'm not <laughs> offended in the least. I'm just curious what the others were. Can we talk about Jesus Christ being crucified on the cross for our sins, you fucking sinner? No, you've already talked about it. Can we talk about the heaven and the And the conspiracy about the Jews and whatever. It's no conspiracy, they're reptiles, you idiot. Uh, <laughs> that fucking 240p video doesn't count. This is garbage. <laughs> Those reptiles were hissing, hissing away. No. Slithering around, no, poking Jesus. I don't care what your crazy aunt Zach, from the South says. Zach, my, uh, my mom, I don't know if you know this, but my mom has given me, she actually has it at the office, you know I mom? have 10 pamphlets. My mom's given me pamphlets on what she reads and she also has given me DVDs. On reptiles? On all that I shit. Your mom's a reptilian? No, she no, gave me like 10 scales. She's given me DVDs on Christian conspiracies. <laughs> and, what what and conspiracies like are there? It's just like pamphlets oh, on, the, on the, the Pope. I wanna know. She told me this story, just it was insane. She told me this story that Satan came out of the ground and like a potato? And he basically had a child what? who was the Pope. What? Yeah. you were wondering. The Pope Tito? Satan <laughs> came out of the... Isn't this a story for the, the Jersey Satan Devil? Satan came out of the ground and he made the Pope. <laughs> Jersey the Devil? Pope was yeah. made I'm gonna step out after that joke. reset that was, religion. What? The Jersey I, Devil joke? No, the, I, are you talking about I the went game? from potato to Pope Tato and I, I feel like I need a timeout. You think you need to be spanked? I, dude, you ever hear the... Yep, you, the Jersey Devil used to really freak me out when I was Pope a kid. Pope Tato did it? PS1 game called Jersey Pope Tato did it. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's the Jersey Devil? They also have a... Isn't it the hockey team, dude? The Jersey Devils? I think it is. Anyways, go on with your freak show stories about fucking dirty Indians. Oh, that was pretty much just it. Oh, yeah. 34th and Madison, please. How about 34th and fuck you! Has this ever happened to you? Recent Twitter polls revealed a horrifying 107% of all taxi drivers are terrorists. North Korean, Middle Eastern, <laughs> Russian. Why gamble your life in a taxi when you could ride Uber? Uber is convenient, safe, and fun. It's fast, easy, good for the environment, hand-stitched from 100% dye-free hemp, packed full of essential vitamins, and best of all, every time you take a ride with Uber, Uber will donate $1 to help fight the war on terror. Uber, download the Uber app today and get taken for a ride. 
Can I smoke in here? Can I stop now smoking? No, you can smoke in here. You can smoke in here. Okay, oh, just, smoke. He's not supposed to, he just does. I do it to be courteous. Oh, he's not I, supposed to, he just does. Step I step out to be courteous. Uh, but you can Okay, do. wait. It's like brain dead. <laughs> that's, what, that's, <laughs> that's what he gets. You can't play no sports now. No more sports so for that I'm, guy. I'm very curious, just because we've got some people here that have been on the internet. We've seen a few videos. We've watched a few gaming videos here uh, and there. I'm just I, saying, I don't watch any of the so gaming videos. I'm curious. Bullshit. I'm just curious. I, I played you know, the Nintendo the before. Think about the past when kids wanted to be astronauts, firemen, uh, race cars, all that kind of shit. But now, race wars. You, you know for a fact. Race <laughs> <laughs> Fucking you guys just want to still race wars? Like, Maybe. Uh, it's uh, now, guys, if you want to be black, I do Now metal, they want to be vloggers. Let's play it. I am genuinely curious. Now, first of all, this came from a discussion about whether or not on like the, the occupation day, kids are talking about wanting to grow up to be Twitch players that's, or Let's Players. Yes! Now, hold on. We know yeah. that's a fact. Apparently, I've heard that that is something that kids will stand up in a classroom of other kids, and they will proudly announce that they want to grow up to be a Twitch or Let's Player. Yeah, but right? that's joy! But, but, what I'm curious about is when <laughs> one of these major <laughs> Let's huh? Players or somebody tries to cash in on that and starts the first Let's Player University, <gasps> where people sign up and they take classes <laughs> on genius. how to make their thumbnails, what O faces and what scary well, faces they need to, Mick. to make. I, I they, swear they have, that no, is going to happen. No, it's, it's not, not going to happen. It's not, let's They're going to make a lot of money. Nick, it's not going to happen. Wait, can I tell you why that's not going to happen? Is because that... There's already like, Minecraft High School, you no, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, but what anyone, else do you look, need? Look, anyway, right. <laughs> anyone who's a Let's Player don't want competition, so they're not going to teach you how to do let's, it. Let's, that's let's, not the reason. No, that's the reason is because it has like five years left tops. It's like vlogging. Vlogging is still yeah. around, but remember what... But the bubble's gone, you're saying. To be fair, though, vloggers never made as much money as this shit. John, can I use... The Franco, I just Steve. Man, they're still making Johnson. big money. I'm, I'm, they're, no, no, they're, I, no, they're doing they're fine. But, down, but Philly but D media, was never a vlogger, though. But he, he was fan of, on like if you uh, use if you use like just say games as a medium for comedy or something to get into like comedy or like or reviewing or something like that. That's a good thing. If you get a good if you get a good following uh, for what you want, like whether it be let's plays, whether it be whatever, that's a good Look, way into I'm something. Else. Let, me, let me just say, real quick. Yeah. What you were saying about, or what you were saying about that, it, it, I don't think it speaks to the format itself. It speaks no. to the people reaching other people. Yeah, part. it speaks. Sure. It speaks yeah. to the other thing too. I think exactly the biggest, what the, I was the trying biggest, to say, just more eloquently. The biggest thing, the, the mediums are not the problem here. It's not. It's not the let's play that's the problem. It really isn't. It's the. It's the mentality of. This is an occupation that's going to be around forever, and this is permanent. Mm -hmm. That's that's the problem, and that's what that that extends across all mediums on YouTube that had their five minutes of fame. Right, yeah. vlogging, like I said, this one's had an extended play. five minutes. It'll 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 it'll, it'll pass eventually. Well, it's got a few. But my point is, my point is, there's it. nothing inherently wrong with those. There's nothing inherently wrong with with doing those things. It's you the fact that these people get to those positions to go, oh. I don't have to think of anything about the future. This yeah. is, I'll yeah. just do this until you, 50. You, you want to know what really, you you know what really bums me out about it? And I don't know if I'm just being like a total like hipster about it. So. But when I started with Game Grumps, uh, and Let's Plays were already pretty big when we started. When I started with it, we, we, we were kind of like, I mean, I'm not going to say the first, because we weren't the first, but like, we were playing like these old retro games from our past, and it was just like real. You were definitely one of the first, though, like yeah. 2011, 2012. That I, yeah, was, it was 2012. Well, you, I, remember, I remember specifically, I, I, I admired that specifically because yeah. all the things with that time were like, Bucket player reacts to five minutes of uh, He wasn't no, around no, yet. He wasn't relevant. My, my point is, all of it was that kind of stuff. It was yeah. that caliber. Uh, honestly, PewDiePie reacts to. Uh, honestly, to when Happy you guys Meals. when you guys came out, there was only one other rivaling group, and that was two best friends. And they're good. Yeah. They're good guys. They seem yeah. to be funny. But it was like that but, but, was the only other one. But, but, and people but like, compared you well, guys well, to well, best well, friends. Well, I mean, we were playing these games, and then like um, I felt like it was like really like trying to share my past experience with these games, but then it just got so like. Every day, this is it. This is, it. and it's like okay. It's well, a job it's, rather than it's like just like playing. well, it's just like okay. Then you're just gonna exhaust this eventually. Maybe right. not. So, I don't John. Know. Even if even if there isn't a university, do you see after the bubble pops? <laughs> after the bubble pops, do you Trump see university couldn't make it? There's no way. Fine. Fine. So after the bubble it. pops, do you? This fucking McDonald's university. Previous let's hamburger. play yeah, hamburger university. Do they have those <laughs> like the uh, hotel <laughs> conference room? 
um, kind of like uh, seminars to try to rope in like no, the, not the at all. Upcoming people. Those you people. There's not going to be Hitler. There's not going to be a Hitler Youth for PewDiePie. No, That's what I'm no. Those people will take their their. Fa- <laughs> their those people will take their Let's Play. You're not. You're not going to have a room. room. You're not going to have a room where you brush your pink mustache. It ain't happening. In any what do you time. think of the YouTube genre of Jontron videos that aren't you ripping you off? Yeah, what's up with that? God, what are you saying? Honestly, let me say about Jontron. Jontron, it's weird because it's like that anger video game nerd. Yeah, format. but it has a style. It's not. It's it has has your style. editing. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, that's like now, the, every video. He was the pioneer. Yellow text with the black. No, no, it's that. No, it's that. It's that. It's that, every, it's John, that crazy yeah, editing it's the, where it's. Like no, you can keep it. Like the, Here, I'll say this. Here's something strange about that. It's like I, I I did that yellow tick stuff a lot, and then when I started seeing it more often, I was just like, I feel like I can't do it anymore. Yeah, I don't know. No. It's not. It's bullshit. It's I like, don't know what to say other than I don't know. That's what happens when something. You, you know, are what you are. You eat what you. I was gonna say that happens to Chris. I sometimes when we do a gag or a joke or something, and then yeah. other people do it a lot. And we're like, oh, we can't do it anymore. Yeah, I feel like I can't do it anymore. It's really a weird feeling. It's almost a, it's a good but bad. No, feeling. it's bad. Okay, yeah, like when you make dank memes, Zach, <laughs> hot spice, or John, or, or when you say oh, stuff like uh, <laughs> water people, water people, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> that's, that's it. Sometimes I feel like even I'm like exhausted and I'm like, I wonder if people even want to see this anymore. No. I'm curious, because this happens people to you, do. this isn't really, you know, but I'm curious to ask about this. Because I've been around you when this happened before. It happened today, actually. What, what is your opinion? How do you feel really, realistically about people stopping you? Stopping it's, me? I, well, I don't just, mind it. If people are genuinely like, oh my god, I really want to talk to this person, like, referring to me. Right. I remember one time specifically, I remember you even commented on it because we were at a coffee shop. And someone goes like, hey, man, I loved your video. And he walked out. That was the whole thing. I was like, oh, you That's good. Like, like, oh, that, that was yeah. a cool interaction. No, I, I'll, give it, I'll give it a little anecdote was when we were with John. John was just standing there. And this guy comes up and goes, grabs John by the fucking neck. And yeah. goes, are you John? And John was like, yeah. And then John was being really courteous and nice to this guy. And he was like, yeah, you got a picture and all this. But this guy was like, like literally just grabbed a human being by the fucking yeah. neck. Well, it's by not, the neck, It's dude. not just that. It's also, that, he did say something like he insulted you, which was like... They insulted Niall? Oh, they, they, no, they he did insult Niall. me. That This guy, uh, sure. John said something like, uh, oh, he's uh, Brad Pitt, as a joke. And then this guy goes, you're looking horrible for being Brad Pitt. Oh, yeah, and that's I go, right. And then I was like, well, Niall could only look down. You're yeah, like, we're gonna uh, fuck something up. Something really similar happened to me when I was when Aaron was in Ireland with me. He noticed this all in a group. It was me, Aaron, Susie, Barry, and then... Yeah, and me too. Oh, and you. I, I remember and the, that, yeah. The kid just runs up to me and fucking grabs yeah. me like a bear. And I was okay. just like, what the fuck? Also, and, we and he was like, big fan, and you ran away. And I was just like... Also, that day we were... I thought we went, he robbed me or something. Yeah. We went to McDonald's. <laughs> we went to Jason's McDonald's dude. that day, yeah. and the, the guy who worked at McDonald's was cleaning his tray, and he dropped his tray when he saw Aaron. Oh, yeah. And then he came over to us with, like, a piece of paper, and he goes... Or with a napkin, oh, he goes, like, can you sign this? And he asked, like, me to sign it, and I was like, hey, I'm signing an autograph. You didn't know who you were. Let me just... You know what? <laughs> you I, know I, nobody. I, was I, like, I have something to say about this. I think it's a product of the times. I think anybody who grew up in our generation would... Ne- Maybe they would. I don't know. Or at least some, some people in our generation, but the one previous, would never do that shit where they run I up couldn't. and hug you. I, I, yeah. When I first met, like, Real Big Fish, because I met them. Really? Like, I, I, I met, you know, this is before I made the music video for oh, them. Really? So if I was to be like, hey, I made that music video, they probably know who I was. I don't yeah, know. they do made know. A music that video probably, that probably makes me sound arrogant. But they follow me on Twitter like, because they know you. Anyways, <laughs> I, 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 I came up to them. He was going to his car with his girlfriend in his hand. And, you know, people were stopping him prior, and I went up to him, and I couldn't say anything. I was just like, oh, uh, big fan. And it was like, oh, he's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm like, and he's like, oh. And then he left, because I couldn't say anything. I think but it's nature, like... I think the nature of fandom has changed so much, because the nature know. of celebrity has changed. Before, but, no, bands and celebrities, but, they were such a distant thing. Mm-hmm. There were things you saw on TV or listened on the radio, but nowadays, with, like, YouTube and cartoons... You feel like you're closer. Facebook or You feel Twitter, like you're closer to them. No, they do. The fans absolutely exactly. feel like they are... Like in, in some cases that they're your friends. And yeah. realistic, you. realistic. So I think that that becomes well, YouTube, part of the narrative. YouTube People, makes it. Your you know the strength of YouTube is that they, you do seem like I, I, used, I used to see comments on gamers that would be like you know people you know people will listen to you guys and pretend they're your friends yeah they think that's yeah, the thing or, they yeah, think but that, I think I think going back to like the not to cut you up I was going to no, say it before but the thing about like you know the the new the new kind of wave of people not understanding social bounds and kind of grabbing you. I think that's also just a natural byproduct of people being online. Sure. You know, that does attract a little bit bigger of a more socially kind of yeah. inept, to some degree. I guess. So to some degree, socially inept. You know, because, I mean, people for the most part who use, 
who consume a lot of content and generally get wrapped up in stuff to that degree, like obsessive, at least a portion of that is going to be a little I bit also, obsessive. Yeah, but Zach, I also do really think that there's like... I'm not saying it's everybody, but I'm saying, I'm saying at least a portion of people, you're bound to into some people like that. I also, do think, I also do think there's like this this buddy factor too. Like, the more they well, listen to you, yeah. yeah, the more they listen to you, the more comfortable, the more stuff you reveal about yourself, the more comfortable they are around you, sure. the more they'll listen to you outside of what you do and look into more of your stuff and see you. Yeah, but yeah Zach, and then when you meet up, they will be like, and I, I honestly prefer that. Yeah. I would completely fucking love, and, and when I was at MAGFest last time, I ran into a ton of people who of were course. just really cool, but it's like, I'm way more terrified of someone who's just like, terrified to be near me. Like, if they're afraid to talk to me, then it's just like, that makes me uncomfortable. But at the same it's, it's time, not, no matter not, how close I am to certain people, it's mm -hmm. not like I just randomly see you and just run up to you and give you a hug. Well, or, you need to know well, some well, I, 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 I think it should also be noted that the people who, who you know, think of you as their close friends, they're not mutually exclusive with people who are socially inept. It just happens to be. Absolutely. It just happens to be some people yes. who happen to be socially inept. Yeah. Huh? To answer your question, well, it doesn't bother me at all. Like the the whole fandom thing until they fucking break a fucking like social physical boundary, boundary or yeah. social yeah. boundary. If you if you acknowledge that I'm trying to have a flow with my day and I don't want to stop and, it, and, and fucking like maybe I'm on my way to something. I was gonna say what are the lies for you? Is it, if you're sitting on the eating, if you're on the if you're hurting, that's the one that pisses me off. I'm fucking eating. Oh, and somebody talks to yeah. me. Yeah. It's like, dude, I'm fucking eating. Eating is the worst. Apparently, and there are times I, I feel like if you get if you run into people and you're in a mood, like sometimes like you know, snap or whatever. Yeah, I'm a we person. Have, like, this right? phone call line or whatever. It's like. We're opening up the line right now. Like, when we're walking and someone's like, Oh my god, oh, so... And it's like, hey, you know what? I'm walking somewhere. You you want to talk? Yeah, let's just cross the street. What, what do you have to say? You know what I mean? Like, you invited in. Let's have this conversation. Sure, that's fine. Yeah. But if they're literally stopping the shit, that's when it fucking... If they is. stop it, yeah. Because you wouldn't do that to anybody else. I, well, I also... You know? I also... I don't know if... I don't know if our positions are specifically because, you know, our experience. But, like, if I saw somebody like... Like, if I saw, like, Larry David or something, I would rip and stop and be like... I'd be like, dude, I just saw... I'd tell somebody else I saw Larry David. Yeah, I wouldn't I would, stop him. I would never approach him because then it immediately. I feel like it just it it, but again, that's probably because we have the full context of. Oh, by the way, by the way, I have a I have a I have a theory about it. It's everybody's first time. Everybody right. who meets yes. you, it's their first time, yes. and then the I after think so. after yeah. that, they reflect and go, "I should never do that again." Well, I yeah. I know because, yeah. but we still get it. Every I, I know all of us have had some experience where we met somebody we looked up to at least slightly. And we're like, did, did I fuck up? I did it I, once. Am I an idiot? Yeah. I did it once. I did it to John Krasinski. I ran into him at the LACMA Museum in L.A. And I, it was a long time ago. I was like 15 or 16. What happened? And uh, I just said hi to him. And I afterwards I went. I shouldn't have said hi to him. <laughs> Dude, that's that's really weird. It was exactly what happened. All these other people. <laughs> yeah. I, I see a lot of uh, situations <laughs> where moms egg their kids on to do that. <laughs> what? Where the kid will be like, Go talk to him. Go, yeah, oh yeah. Go talk to him. Go do it, Billy. Did that like, happen to Ethan at the subway a few weeks ago? I'm not sure. We were, we were at the subway and somebody approached Ethan. I don't remember. H3H3. 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 Is it he, he, or H3H3? We've had this debate. It's he, he. It's H3H3. Well, he calls himself H3H3. It's H3H3. He calls himself H3H3. So but, but it stands for he, he. It's H3H3, Nikki, and you fucking know it. No, well, hold on. No, no, no. It's he, he. No, it's he, he, but everybody calls it H3H3. But so does he. He calls himself h 3 Because everybody calls it H3H3. Zach, what's it an anagram for? Fucking ham By the way, I think he's hot three and amazing and would. He is. He's a wonderful. He could be the podcast. Dude, I don't know. Ask him. Well, Ethan. Zach, I, he, he was gonna come to today. He was gonna was come? he really? Yeah, but he douched out. Oh my god. He did it to listen to Fuck you. You don't do it. Come on. Ready or not, here we come. We got questions from our Patreons. Okay, John Nathan D asks. <sighs> Have you given any thought to living outside of the USA? If so, what country no. would you want to live Absolutely in? Hold on, hold on. No. Also, as a bonus side question for Zachary no. Hadell, no. what country would be the safest when World War III breaks no. out inevitably? No. <laughs> Next no. question, no. We, mean, no. we declined my question. The guy paid money to ask me that question. He did. Yeah, but Zach, I mean, let's get real. You're not leaving America. <laughs> I'm not leaving America. I love America. What country do you think would be the safest during World War III? You, you've, you've already, stamped, you've already stamped World, stamped World War genes. Three, dude. It's fucking World War Three. Probably Ireland, you know. What the crash? No, you'd have, have fallen out for Britain, dude. It's so small. You'd have fallen out for fucking Britain. You'd hide the bubble pop of Let's Play. I don't know, man. Yeah. Greenland, Let's Play crashes in the fucking Madagascar. I'm playing. I'm thinking of the game Play Geek. That's the reason I say Madagascar. You get eaten by Madagascar. I don't know. Yeah, what about the lion, the hippo, and other? Animals like escape from Ireland. Switzerland, maybe I don't know, man. Switzerland. Uh, no, don't go to Switzerland. They're neutral. What do you mean? Don't, go to don't you feel like they'd be just taken over by a bully? 
No, Hitler didn't bother him. He was going to, but he didn't. Yeah. What happens when a big bully goes there, and then the practices they practice? It depends. I'll say this: it depends. It's a very big question. If you ask me specifics, I can answer it better. Sorry. Well, I'm not. We're moving <laughs> no, you on. Say the, All right, the, so you, the you go to Switzerland. We moved on. Uh, Brendan Ledesma. Well, that, asks, piss, that pisses me off. I know it does. Uh, the the question Why? is: What would your last meal be? A fucking egg. Move on. My last meal would be something that would probably be hard to get. How many- when you get a last meal, can you order, like, multiple last meals all bunched into one? Like, could I get, like, a bowl of pho with sushi, and a bowl of, like- I don't see why not, yeah. You can? I, I don't know, so. what, if, what if you ordered that, and then they were like, no, fuck you, we don't want to get you that, you can just have some fucking ravioli and get over it. They can't do that, though. Why not? I'd be you know I could get lobster and Why not? You're a murderer, you get one last civil right, not your freedom. Not your life. What even. if they didn't do that? You get a meal. What if they? What, that, if they, what if they're just like kiss my ass? I'm not going to do that. It happens. How, happens. how many sometimes. times? Yeah. How many times do you think that happened? That probably happened to like Bolognese fucking like Ted Bundy and shit. Like they were like, didn't you? Didn't you murder people? <laughs> fuck you. Get like Ted Bundy Parliament. and all those people who were like mass yeah. murderers. They probably, okay, fine. Fuck they that. Probably fucking, if you could get a last meal, they'd probably spit on their plate. Like, if Zach actually get. got caught for all of the fucking crimes against humanity, what's gonna happen? If it happened, I pull the teeth out, stupid. What? What would your last Crush name be? Crush with the pixie dust. Okay, John. Uh. If they caught you for all your indiscretions against social justice warriors across yeah. the Facebook sphere, John, uh, what would you? What would be? They were gonna hang you in the public square. Or to the heart of the guy who was gonna pull the trigger on my hanging. Ooh, John, can I ask you a serious? I want to ask you a serious question. I know what I want. I know what I want. John, do you ever wake up? And sweat, and you think about the time your hands were in the right little girl's mouth, and she screamed for her mother. I don't think about it. And all you could say was, think about you're gonna it. die, you're gonna die, this is real. I don't think about this it, because really if I die. think about it, they'll uh, listen, find me. Listen, listen, listen. God, did you think uh, the human eyeball Zach. could be so easily pierced by your, by your Zach. thumbs? Zach, Zach, make it do her brain. Zach, I would order escargot. Do you even know what that is? And then I, I didn't like it, I'd ask for something else. <laughs> I'd be like, I don't You're one of those people. I'd be like, I didn't like it. I'm so glad I never served you at a restaurant. I want scallops. I'd punch you in the face. I want scallops. Chris, what would you what order? the fuck is a scallop, anyway? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. What's I love crusty scallop. What would be your last meal? If you were on prison, death row, you're gonna die right in five, ten minutes. Uh... It'd be hot pizza, it'd be hot pizza, pizza and no, Pepsi. No, it would not. <laughs> <laughs> It would be your uh, healthy, yeah. sharp tongue. <laughs> it would be, um, it would be Premier from Wexford. What, you know? uh, what does that even mean? It's like Come on, amazing. Jesus, King of the Jews! <laughs> the holy water's coming out of his side! <laughs> what? what are you doing? What is that? I'm losing it. <laughs> you fucking, you call me a whack, whacktacular attack? Idiot, fuck you. Oh, whacktacular attack. Cool. But no, I, did you, I, hold I, on, I really, I really, hold on. Corey, did he call you a fucking whacktacular attack? <laughs> No! It's his fucking made up language! I don't wanna point fingers, but... Corey, I think we, we gotta talk. Like, we gotta sit down and really talk. It's his made up fucking made 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 language, dude! We'll have an intervention later. For now, Steven <laughs> or Stefan Mc McCullum asks What is the one question you would ask us? As in the fans. Can you fuck off? <laughs> Can you, can you watch the podcast and ask questions you that we understand? at all. You've been waiting for that question your whole life. No. To just tell that to your it fans. It was a joke. Uh, Mine would be like, ask us the most personal fucking question you've ever gotten. You can't ask them to ask a question. I would ask, ask them. Man, that's like a genie thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's like <laughs> <a> cyclical <laughs> logic. Um, what can the will the hottest one of you come? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And be my girlfriend. How you doing yeah, today, dude? He wants to suck my dick. How you doing today, like John? That. Come here, <laughs> John. Seriously, come here. Why do I gotta do this? How you doing today, dude? Me? What's up? Are you who are you talking to? The fans, now? dude. How okay. you doing today? You look cute. That I'm not today? playing your fucking mind games. Don't tonight. kiss me, John. I'm a best. Oh, my penis. I'm to wipe this hey, uh, off that. I think this one's for uh, Chris. I think. Oh. Hugo Condi asks. Whoever knows the least about Harry Potter, oh no, never mind. Could you please summarize the series and then all kiss? <laughs> fucking, um, fucking four eyes points a brown stick and turns his brother into a snake. The end. <laughs> Next! That's not what happened. I think we got it. I know, I know what happens. I know, I know That's what happens. That's the Netflix that. description. I know what happens. For every fucking movie. I know what happens. Um. Like, go. like some, yeah, yeah, some, some fucking Melvin Four Eyes stuck under the, the floorboards is released into the Hogwarts, like the, the school, and he learns he's a witch. <laughs> yes? Yes. What's the last one about? He dies, because the, the evil snake dude was- You gotta, you gotta split to episode one from the floorboards, Corey. 
<laughs> See, Quidditch called the Ark. You finally got to that as too. You Harry get Potter reminded fan, of that every few episodes. As an avid Harry Potter fan, I'm deeply offended by this misinterpretation. Am I, I right? I would like to pass Am over Am I partially question. right? No, get out. Well, okay, he lived under stairs. Come on. He did live under stairs and he fought a fucking snake man. He's a reptilian, dude. He's a reptilian. Man who is forced to live under stairs becomes Witch. He becomes Witch. He becomes Witch. Kills the Judebe. Yo. Some freakish four eyed Melvin kills an albino. No. Is that that Harry Potter? First movie. No, that's not Harry Potter. He lives under the stairs. His uncle Vernon looks through the cracks of the floor. Goes, ah! And points at him. You would actually do a shit. What is going on over Guys, here? Guys, if you so could collaborate weird. with anyone at any point, who would it be? Bladen Austria asks. Jodron? <laughs> you wish, okay, dude. If you didn't have a dick in your mouth while you were answering this question, what? who would you work with? If you could work with anybody. Robin Williams. <laughs> or, fuck you. I'm not kidding! Pre or post death? Okay, but somebody... Pre or <laughs> I want to work with Robin Williams' dead corpse. <laughs> okay, wait. So somebody who's alive but now. I think pre and post. He's got to be alive. Um, <laughs> uh, Who'd I like to collaborate with? Mm. <laughs> Seriously, anybody, anybody. Film wave. Yeah. No, tell me it's not film wave. It's not film wave. Hold on, I, I want to actually answer this. Ooh, Try it, damn, dude. Please, please. Collabor well, does it have to be somebody? Could it just be anybody? Anybody, anybody, anybody in the because world. You, because no, but I mean, if you oh, say oh, like I want to collaborate I, with Dan Vito, no, no, I know I want. I know I want. No, 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 no. I know who I want to collaborate with. Pamper Chew. Okay, that's fair. Oh, Pamper Chew. That's fine. I fine. love Pamper Chew. Hey y'all, it's Pamper Chew. You may Chew. have a skit in your mind that would only work if the actual Pope wanted to do no, it. No, Pamper Chew. Oh, I know. Pamper Chew is Christopher where you Walken. go for Goodwill. Walken. Okay. Pamper Chew is where you go for Goodwill diapers and like the most professionally done like reviews of diapers. I would say Norm Macdonald. <laughs> Norm Macdonald? Okay. Ooh, Norm Macdonald's a good he'd be, one. He'd be good. Chris Rock Chris, and Norm Macdonald. Are you? Uh, Gianna Michaels. Fucking porn star? Yeah. You know, I think she's from Seattle. How come? She's from good. a place called Dick's, too, I'm, ironically. I'm gonna be so, a so I want to go with, like, some fucking Z-minus celebrity. I'm You'll curious. What, what would happen if we retooled them to be dead or alive? What would you like to be there with you, Rob Williams? Rob Williams. Well, I couldn't, I couldn't bring much to the table there, but I, 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 I love Ron Williams is the point of this. Just say hypothetically you could you collaborate and they, they come do his thing. I just, it's a hard question to answer because Jim if Carrey. I have to like legitimately think oh, about man, like Jim me Carrey. working with any Jim of these Carrey people, right. it's hard because it wouldn't really funny. work. But what I, I would love to have worked with somebody And there's like the misconception, or, or the possible misconception what of what they what you perceive what working with them would be versus what it would actually be yeah. like to work with these people. Have yeah. you ever seen? This is just a question of like who's your favorite celebrity. Have you ever seen? Have yeah. you seen Jim Carrey in um, Liar Liar? How he acts in that? Like, I he, love Liar Liar. He's all very like lifely and yeah, shit. Stunts are good. I would I would like to have old Jim Carrey as my partner. Jess Lesser asks, would any of you consider moving to Australia? No, that's a I, fucking no. I, I would absolutely. say yeah. I I've been I've never absolutely been there, not. but I want to see it. Fuck no. It's a magical land. To me. I would like to visit it. But I'm not going to fucking. What do you have? An opera house that looks like somebody fucking put a bunch of hats on the floor? <laughs> on, uh, fucking like, not even I in an organized fact fashion? Everything kills you there. Everything from the bugs to the sun. To the people. To the people. To the, people, to the, people, to the Everything rules, kills to you. To the laws. And everything to the is civilization. beautiful. Now, the real answer is Australia seems like a really nice place. I heard the spy. Too bad, too bad they're afraid of like. Sodomy and shit like that. This, are they, oh yeah, their government is yeah, really weird. They censor England. shit a lot. No, no dude, Tony, Tony, Tony Evans You, can't, you yeah. can't have anal. He's in, like George in there Bush, you're like fucking Australian like uh, old man. The English like censored you like squirting and stuff. Until you're an old Hold on, man. old. Because when I went to school in Malaysia, all of my Malaysia or all of my Australian Blasting. friends called the local Malays abos. Yeah, they call them abos. The and I didn't even know. But that was a good term. They just throw that shit so around. yeah, I would like to visit Australia. They can kiss my fucking I didn't even know what an abo was. That was a big one. They didn't call yeah. I love Australia. Fuck you. Never go in there. I, I mean, <laughs> uh, to, to be, I'm just kidding. Australia actually seems pretty cool. It does. I mean, it's For visiting. For visiting, yeah. Beautiful people what? come out no, of there. No, seriously. It seems really cool. That's all I gotta say. Australia is the only place, the only, and I know there's probably one or two more. They but walk like, around with one of the only mars and cut your tits off if too big. <laughs> one of the only marsupials <laughs> that lives outside of Australia is the possum. Oh, okay. And that's the stupid American one. But I'm just saying, hit by cars all the time. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, like uh, Australia is cool because it has a, a complete sect of animal that n most other parts of the world. That's don't right. Have. 
Which it's actually, like they had actually, to adapt. It's like a different planet. It's it's it's, it's like a what do you call it? Biologist's wet dream in, in Australia. Because Absolutely, it, it's really cool. A biologist's wet dream is Sasquatch. And you know, just to be fair, <laughs> nobody. Can we talk, can we talk when, about Sasquatch? when we said everyone, uh, everything in Australia kills you, including the people. We didn't mean the actual Australians. We meant the people that started Australia, as in all the convicts. We're talking about guys with the bones doing those. The, oh, the well, I was talking about the that people exists on that fucking island of trash. I'm yeah. just kidding. I want to live there. It's, I mean, I, I want to see know. it. I want to. I mean, I, I, look, I, 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 I'm not like a fan of places that are like fucking sunny three six five of the year, but like it does seem like a really nice place. Jeff, you you grew up or on the planet you, of LA. What are yeah, you talking basically. about? Do you hear the alarm? Boop, boop, boop. That's no. the Bigfoot alarm. Robert Baxter Ricketts asks if you could have a fight with any one person, who would it be? I don't have one answer, but Stephen I will... Hawking. <laughs> you fucking asshole. I would win that so fucking fast. <laughs> you would knock him out of his Beep, boop, beep, boop, faggot. Bam. You just fucking like pull the plug on his chair and just pour watch water him roll on, down a pour fucking Pour water ramp. on that fucking sad faggot. I would have, I would have H3, H3, H3 aka he hee he, write a list. Every single wait, wait, person you posted it? a video about, I've wanted to fucking punch in the face. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what is the question? Papa if you could John's? fight it, if you could fight one person, who would it be? You would hit Papa John's? <laughs> yeah. Square in the jaw. Right in the face. And then ask for a, unless he gave me a pizza. Don't fucking touch the Papa. Th this is towards, uh, Chris, um, and Nah, but he ain't here. Tim O'Neill, I'm assuming also a potato eater, hmm. asks, how has life changed since moving from Ireland to the States? Do you miss being home? Also, Galway represent? <laughs> Galway? Yeah. Um, the biggest change was the ease of the internet. In Ireland, where, when I lived, it was the worst internet ever, and it made my job a living hell. And the, the internet company, Aircom, was the absolute worst, and they wouldn't help in any way. And they, they kind of, it, it got worse every year, and then other companies didn't help either, so... Moving here to a place with fucking the fastest internet ever is really nice you and made my life way easier. Internet is like a way of life here. And like without you know what's that, funny? You say that, but America actually has one of the slowest fucking internet connections. Not to compared us. to Ireland. Not Globally. in the main cities. I, Ireland's probably maybe like better now, but... Internationally. Like, this is no, like no, 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 no. I mean, like, maybe like in the smaller parts of the country, but like in the big cities, it's pretty fast. My, mine at home is 300 megabits per yeah, second. Yeah, that's what we got it's here. Really it's fast. fucking great. Even in Philly, especially like here, they were saying like, it doesn't matter how awesome some of these like uh, services are, they're still using like old wiring and shit. Yeah. So it's like, it doesn't, you know what I mean? Like that's, it's, that's part of it, yeah. Yeah. Their infrastructure is newer. Uh, we'll get, we're actually getting there. Every day in the city, in New York, they're like drilling oh, for new sure, fiber. Sure I just saw, I was walking, and I saw, it was funny, because you know how fiber optic cables like shoot the red light out? Yeah. I saw a bunch of those cables they were putting them in. They're, they're in it's like, it's happening, just slowly. Got it. Next 20 years, I'm sure everything will be fast-ass fiber optics. <laughs> All that Let's Play shit will be coming out even faster. Yes, yes, yes. Brett Bobinski asks... Nice fake name. <laughs> what would your porn star name be? Oreo O's man. I, I oh. would I would be Poopy Dick Parker. Next question. Poopy Dick Parker. Next question. You just got to. That's how we ended that. Zach, what's your porn name? That's what I would be, dude. Poopy Dick. Oreo O's man too. I call you a uh, 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 Zach Cooper three sixty. Weed weed fucker twenty nine sixty nine four twenty. There you go. <laughs> Poopy Dick Parker, make a collab. Hot weed. The numbers are really exaggerated. Zach. 420. I already have a porn Zach. star name, so. Poopy Dick Parker, make a collaboration with Weed Dick Fucker. Uh, uh, the the portal of the year. Vanilla Gorilla. <laughs> the vanilla Gorilla? <laughs> yes. Weed Dick Fucker. The hottest <laughs> reptilian <laughs> portal ever. <laughs> there you go. Gray man. Aliens of Reptilian Porn. You give me hardcore stuff. <laughs> You're making me stiff. You know, like the. I'm gonna you know, like the, the like old ladies with like the, the the eyeglasses way too big that are talking about all the gray aliens, all the gray alien husbands they have. Cool. You ever walk in on pops and he's rubbing his pussy? <laughs> all right. Next question. Here's a, actually kind of a serious <laughs> one. Um, I don't want to bring the mood down. Noah Forkish asks. <clears throat> I've actually wondered this myself sometimes. Why does Zach always wear sunglasses indoors? <laughs> <laughs> there are three reasons. One, severe brain cancer. Number two, coolness. Number three, mostly the brain cancer. Next question. <laughs> All right. Why does Nick always wear a cap? Because I'm bald. Yeah. There you go. Trevor Hollock asks, what are your favorite movie soundtracks? Robocop. That's, no, no, that's not funny. Movie. Not that's funny. favorite movie. Honestly, oh. honestly, it's just Star Wars. It's really? just, it wins. It has to. Star Wars is the best soundtrack of any movie of all time. What about uh, you, Chris? 
Back to the Future. Really? That's a good one, though. Yeah. It really is good. Yeah, I guess that's my answer, too. I'll just go with that. That was good. One. I'll just go with Back to the Future. Who are you, Corey? No. I really like listening you to it, though. fucking shrug. You're one of the most musical of us. Why Actually, you? no. I'm gonna say Ants with Woody Allen. Um, fuck you. No, Ants is fantastic. That's a good song. Ants is fantastic. I'm just an ant. It's a really- I just sang the song. I was just so, like, enamored by the fact that it was such a rip-off of Bugs Life that it was hard for me to actually- No, wrong, dude! Well, I was all- Woody Allen did that I think also, like, I was like seven, and you were like seventeen, so maybe you saw it more than I Wow, thanks- thanks for that, John. Fucking pointing out my- Alright, cut it! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Everyone knows I'm- is that, that is a secret? A you're song. not that old. <laughs> it's not no, no, no. I will say that uh, one of my, I think one of my favorite initially, and I don't think it's fair because I don't think it's one of the best, but it was one of Tom and Thomas Newman's first breakout like major films, and it was Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, that's a good soundtrack. And but yeah, that cello when they did that helicopter shot over the prison, the yeah, it's really it's really eerie. It's cool. The first time, I mean, you gotta remember the. First can time we, I fucking heard that, it was right. just fucking yeah. questions. I also can, I, can, I, can, I, can I change my genre to not movies but games? Yeah. Because I've never talked about my Fine. favorite game. What's your favorite game soundtrack? Is Rocket Knight Adventures. Oh, yeah. You mean the game where you're on a little fucking? You're, you're a rocket. Oh, you mean the, the a... Genesis game with the yeah raccoon? yeah yeah with the the guy he has like a, a, a rocket pack that game? thing. Dude, that soundtrack is fucking unbelievable. Hear who, it, Chris, who did the cast? Who did the soundtrack for Castaway? Oh, Castaway has. That like, is a really I think good soundtrack. Really as well. But... What else did he do? I used back to, to the future. Also, oh, also back then. Anyway, wait, did he really get oh, back to the future? When I was away? little, my favorite. I, I think it was Alan Silvestri, and he did Forrest Gump, and uh, he, did, he did most of Robert Zemeckis. Actually, you know what has a really good soundtrack? Mm. The South Park movie, Bigger, yeah, Longer, and Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. that is one of the best that. soundtracks. But that's ever. not quite yeah. this. That's not quite. I think I would the say that's asking. Sound, yeah, like oh, I would say I would say South Park. Oh, I watched it recently, like a week ago. It's an amazing. I, I, musical. I forgot how good it was. It's one of the best movies, musicals oh, of all time. I, I would say it's one of the best comedies of all time, and one of the best. Yeah. It is it's amazing. So speaking, because it has it all. It has the comedy. It has the feels. Yeah. It has. It's. So I, was, I, I knew. I remember it was really good because I, I had seen like YouTube, but I watched it. And forgot how great it was. No, it's, it's amazing. Idea, it's amazing. It's I love the notion you brought up. It is ten years older because I was old enough to be in the theaters when that movie came out, and we couldn't get any seats but the first fucking row. And <laughs> when the the Uncle Farker song came on. <laughs> Literally, myself and a few others, not ironically, not in any other way, we were on the floor just because we'd never seen anything like that on well, the big screen. The, it was the, way, the way it is is like the movie's totally clean until that part. Yes. That, it just all comes out of that oh, part. Oh, and, and, and just like the scene with, yeah, the Canadian, like uh, the, the, the police officer in the street. Yeah, and they yeah, start yeah. doing the fart, like, dude, let me I, 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 listen, on, I listened on. to the comment. I just want to say one thing. I listened to the commentary. It was really funny. They, they mentioned the fact that they wanted to time it to where people in the movie were leaving the theater. The same people in real life were leaving the theater with their kids. So <laughs> at the part where Uncle Fucker starts happening, in the movie, the people start leaving the theater. Yeah. And they were the time it's for people in the real theaters who start leaving too. <laughs> I think it's dude, a really smart idea. Dude, dude, let me just say, I was like, I don't remember when that came out, 1999? Se yeah, nine. Yeah, Seven? Yeah. No, no, it was nine. Anyways, Sorry. I was right that age, 10, when that shit was out on DVD and yeah. stuff. And that's when, like, I'd heard about it, obviously, and we'd heard it had the record fucks in any movie. Right, 200 sure. whatever. Or and, and so you were the kids. I in was. That. I was. <laughs> dude, a magical time. A magical, perfect moment in yeah. history. I was 10 years old. I rented it. I had my. I tricked my aunt into renting it for me. I said it's just a cartoon because my uncle wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> and they just look at the cover and they're like, oh I yeah. I got it. I watched it fucking like ten times in a row. My uncle found it. Yeah. I rented it. And he said, I'm taking you home to your parents. And I <laughs> really? cried. And I cried. Oh. I cried. <laughs> and he felt bad. He's like, okay, we're not gonna take you back. All right, I get it. I get it. That movie changed my life. Do they see the I, movie and fucking understand why? You like I still it? think oh, that movie so is perfect such for a good so movie. many audiences. I think they didn't too. Really understand the yeah. high schoolers. Could not have imagined a movie like that would exist. Kids, that was exactly what it was like a re a, you know a, a reflection towards it's, adults who could kind of see both sides. But it was just such a it, it it's seriously <clears throat> perfect yeah. from every angle. The musical, yeah. the writing, the voice acting, the humor, just the dramatic. It just hits every angle. Yeah. The satire. I, it's, yes. it's hard. It's hard to look at it sound, now. I know it's gonna sound really weird, but if we're, if we're being like okay, so that's like musical like movies. But if we're talking favorite movies growing up, one of my favorite soundtracks of also all time was Homeward Bound. Does anyone remember that? I, I, I remember, remember it, tape, but I don't I used to watch it all the time. I love I the fucking soundtrack. That the dog though. and the cat were lost and going home. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The two dogs and the cat. Any the fucking, fucking movies with talking animals is always weird. <laughs> 
What about Airbud? Like that movie? I hated Airbud. Nikki likes Homer. What about Space Buddies? I hated this. What about Space Jam? Michael Jordan was. What about fucking? That was a good fucking soundtrack. What about Ape on a Skateboard? What's that called? What? Fucking Ape Monkey on a Skateboard where it gets it dies at the end. Dunstan checks in. Dunstan checks in. No, no, no. It wasn't with Jason Alexander. It was like this monkey screaming on a skateboard, like goes through a brick wall. That was horrible. That was a snuff video. In real life. It was a Homer Bell. It was snuff. It just explodes. It's horrible. What? I don't it was all video of a guy breathing heavily, throwing monkeys. This guy the strapped walls. a monkey's feet to his skateboard. It's a POV of a guy He put breathing. a fucking metal rod, strapped it to it, so it stood upright and fucking ran it into a Hammered wall. to his spine. It's a slip of a guy breathing heavily. He takes a rock and the monkey's screaming. It is just beating his brain, <laughs> begging to pull her out. And the monkey bellows out louder for help. Monkeys, please help your friend. The man laughs. He chuckles. Wait, Horrible. Like... Humanity's real fucked up, John. <laughs> it's the middle of that story. Yeah, but that wasn't one of my favorite soundtracks, Zach. That, that soundtrack sucked. <laughs> it's not good. It had the guy tapping his fingers and screaming. So yes, that's that's a quick soundtrack. serious one. Here's a quick serious one yeah. from Joe Tango. Question for Corey Jeff Chris or anyone who wants to answer: mm. Where should someone go to learn about making games? Why the fuck are they asking me for? I don't know why. The best way Matthew to... Matosis. Yeah, YouTube. Matthew Matosis. Why? Who's that? He's a guy who knows a shit about games. Does he, he do reviews... like YouTube videos? Yeah, he, he does... reviews games. He's a fucking genius. Yeah. Anything Blizzard did in the last ten years. Oh yeah, play good don't games. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Try... <laughs> you know what you should do? <laughs> and you're play good to go. Fun. Play games you like, play games you want to make. Yeah. Play... I don't know if anybody agrees with that. Matthew Matos is just, just, he just talks for like three hours and he's just, he doesn't make any stupid jokes and he just talks to... He's a genius. He breaks games down. He fucking did like all the Mario games. Did you guys see that one hour video of him like reviewing his autism medication from the cabinet? He was like... This is the medication I take to Listen, keep my autism. You do not on shit on fucking Matthew Matosis. I want to stand for that. He's fucking drooling on his bib and shitting his diaper. I want to stand for bib drooling. I want to stand for him reviewing he his fucking, autism. He fucking he shits in his drool and bibs on his shit, Corey. I don't give a fuck. Uh, Von Noah Gala, my silver Impala asks, which TV series do you wish was destroyed before it got the chance to gain its popularity? Bricklebit. Well, that's not really popular though. Yeah, no popularity. Um, Cause you can say the same thing about that fucking uh, Bill. What, what comedian did that? Um, the the Ahmed the the terrorist. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> Ahmed uh, Jeff the Dunham. terrorist. Jeff Dunham. Yeah, that thing didn't even see the light of day. Didn't they cancel that other see, fucking um, Seth MacFarlane show? Yeah, too? Border Town. Yeah, Holy that never even. Oh, it's canceled. Yeah, never oh, saw the light of day. Oh, never oh, even beautiful. aired. They what fucking I made never, that. They season, released the trailer and they saw what the happened? feedback and they never Seth released MacFarlane it. Seth MacFarlane did another show, but it got canceled. Apparently, apparently, I'll look into it, but hopefully, yeah, no, it's, it's, right. it's <sighs> dude. It should have aired. Eight months ago. It's no, they erased canceled. No, apparently they erased its existence on the site. There is no mention of it Whoa. anymore at all. You cannot even Google it's it. It's only on except YouTube. Except for like people talking about it. Oh, it's I only saw that the really racist one. Yeah, yeah the like they're terrible. on they're the Mexican border or whatever. You're That's fucking right. Mexican. We well, yeah, right. really are funny. Who's Mexifornia? Yeah, Mexifornia. It's gone completely? Yeah. Apparently so. Yeah. Wait, so so just if I can if I can go back to the question, is this yes. asking a show that has that I've always hated Do that you is still wish going was on? destroyed. That is a past tense which Oh means... easily! I, I fucking hated 12 ounce mouse. So I'm assuming it's already become popular. <laughs> it was popular. People it somehow popular. wanted it. 12 ounce uh, mouse was never popular. No, that it was, was never... popular. Uh, I mean, like, you want it not to be. Wait, but I can hated you say, it. like, Annoying Orange? Because that's, like, a YouTube series that then. I never a TV watched it. Series, was that really popular? popular? You can say TV. Annoying Orange. 12 ounce is popular. Wait, hold on. What's the question? What which TV, TV you series? Want? TV series do you wish was destroyed yeah, before it got ounce. the chance to gain the popularity? Hmm. Um, it's really hard to say because it's like you really have to hate a show. I don't know, my super sweet 16. I don't know that I really hate any show, show, show on TV. TV. Yeah. Let me think. Uh, that you wish it wasn't made. Like it's on TV and you're like, how like, do this There are things made? I felt like, by the way, can I how just say- How about Caillou? That fucking sucks. <laughs> can I- Get rid of that. Caillou was fucking a waste of time. Uh, can I point out, if, if you have Hulu, please go to the original series section and look at the- look at uh, Mother Up. Mother Up forget is the about best it. shit. Forget about it, and what's the other one? There's a third one. And there's the Awesomes? The Awesomes. The awesomes. No, no, uh, just a side note. Oh, Awesomes! Cut, yeah, that 
fucking drop that in the Hulu, nuclear waste Hulu bin. Hulu original animated programs are a waste of time. Take notes, Hulu. You fucking suck. Seriously, no. I mean, watch those three. Dude, watch, forget about Mo- it. Mother Up, up honestly makes me sick. It, it shows you how to not Shit. write a show. It is that bad. Mother Up is like the worst show I've ever is seen. Is that the one ever. with like the bitch mom who like, has yeah, kids? Yeah, yeah. And every character is off model and looks different all the time. It's, oh. <laughs> it, it's basically about a mom who's like too good for her kids. She's just like, here. Um, order, order food. Just put it on my card. I mean, it's like a cunt. Doug oh. should have been deleted before it went on TV. Doug? Yeah. You know, I don't like Doug either. Do you not like Doug? Doug sucks. Holy shit, I'm like the only person in it. Whoa, Patty Mayonnaise, you're fucking hot. Hey, maybe, you know what? I feel like it's too hateful to say Doug, but like, if I had to pick one, I did not like Doug. I did not like Doug. I used to want it to be over. Yeah. See, you guys say Doug, but I go back even further. I think there are shows that were out of our time frame, because I look at the original Peanut series, and I think that was trash. Fuck you, Penis is great. Yeah, right? see, you it is great. Retro. I grew up hey, on that. You make the, pe- retro. make the penis? Leave it. Yeah. Peanuts right. loses charm. What are you, fucking Charlie Hitler? Leave it. Peanuts hey, fucking hey. loses charm. Leave what about... <laughs> leave it to Beaver the fucking, fucking suck. Penis, Every time that shit, guy? Boy, I hate don't it. Fuck fucking, it. Don't fuck with Penis. You know what I hate? Christmas specials. Leave it to Beaver. And by the way, I hate kids smiling. You kids in your retro show so you can put your fedoras on backwards next time. That's so wrong, You know what? Leave it to Beaver! All these movies, the all these shows, around. nobody fucking watched. Penis this. was the <laughs> least fun of all of them. Hold on, let me we ask you We had all something. sorts of fun cartoons. We had fucking robots Garfield. changing into shit. You're Garfield. talking about the fucking Garfield. 60s. Garfield sucked too. Garfield How sucked. dare you? Wait, hold on. You might have had a different The cartoon Garfield show Garfield sucked. I like Garfield and Friends or whatever the show was. That, that wasn't it. The bad one. The original one. There was another one? Are the you original. telling me you sat around and Not watched the animated barn one. Not the barn one. Halloween special. I did. And you were like, oh, this is the stuff. I watched. The good pumpkin every year. I watch. You know what? You probably got fucking. Fucking no. halls and toothpicks for Halloween. No. Too. I got tasty you fucking, fucking candy. Fucking mothballs in you your got a rock, Christmas just sock. like Charlie Brown. So fuck you. You only really like it because you look like the stinky looking kid. <laughs> you're the you're fucking Charlie Brown motherfucker. Yeah, his hand was running. You're, 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 yeah. you're, you're the fucking bag on the piano who slouches yeah. like a crypt keeper. Ray Kilmer and you fucking, fucking smell. He got zero like pussy. Yeah, he got no, zero pussy. He, he no he more pussy. He was a dick. He would have got. Charlie Brown got tons of pussy. He would have got. He would have got Julian Beth's pussy. She lift the football she went, yeah, that it. bitch wanted his dick 90% of the time. She was like, when are you going to fuck this little girl pussy? And he was like, Holy ain't interested. Yeah. yeah, Julia Roberts is an all right actress, but she's not the best. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking! And while we're at a third trimester abortion, come on! <laughs> Whoa. Fuck Tweety Bird! And fuck! <laughs> All right, guys. Tweety Bird's cool. Serious question. Tweety Bird's a little bitch. Yo, so Tweety, Tweety, Bird, cool. Tweety Bird is a girl or a guy? Fuck Tweety Bird. No, guy, guy, Tweety Bird's guy, a girl or guy. Guy, guy, guy. Can I say? Can guy. I say, please? Can I please just Tweety. plead with the audience, please? I'm just asking. Would you come on Tweety Bird's face? Because the answer for me is absolutely yes. <laughs> I'd come on Tweety Bird's feet. I'd come on right. fucking Bird's oh. feet. I, I would. I would literally. <laughs> big fat I, I would take it. I would swing his Corey. fucking miniature <laughs> like worm neck in, and I'd punch his face until there was nothing left but a fucking glittering Corey. pulp. Corey, you told me I would beat him down. I, it would. It would be Sylvester exe. That's what it would fucking be after what? I was done with him. Wait, um, Corey, you told me you would look at Tweety Bird the big those big eyes of hers and color or his baby blue. He'd be like, he'd be like, I tied it up. If, um... <laughs> what? What the fuck? Tweety Bird would be like a really hard mess to clean up, I feel. That's true, too. What, if you killed it or like fucked if you, it? Like, if you smacked it on the head Chris. with a hammer and blood went... Like, Chris. Plus, a- Tweety Bird is very vengeful. Chris, what if you took Tweety Bird and stuck him into a fucking microwave? <laughs> it would fucking explode and it would be blood everywhere. Condensed the mess. You no, speak, it wouldn't be Speaking condensed. of Tweety Bird in a microwave, Earwig asks, <laughs> oh. A wizard turns you all into girls. Who's the hottest? I think maybe Chris Me or... for sure. If Zach Chris, was a really Chris. slutty bitch, maybe. Oh, I would totally be a whore if I had the boy. I'd fuck you. Cool, you're a whore now, you I would slut. absolutely be a slut. But we're talking about a as a girl. I, I would have. I would ha- have a hot body and would have dicks in me at all times. Whoa. That's you what, right what, now, Corey. We just all agree, <laughs> Jeff. But I don't have a body, so that's why I don't. You don't have a body. If Jeff was no. a girl, he'd have the biggest lips. I have like the most <laughs> beautiful body. He'd have it's the biggest, so clinical of he'd you. He'd have the biggest lips and the biggest tits. He'd have the mm. nicest eyes. Me. The prettiest smile. Jeff. Yeah. Jeff does have a very nice eye stare. Uh, yeah. If he looked at you, uh, okay, guys. Okay, we gotta move <laughs> he's on. He's gonna get That's mad. Him. Yeah, he's gonna hear this and fucking punch somebody. <laughs> okay, go. Here we go with the last question because this very well may be something that you guys have to think about tonight. All right. Ooh. Are you ready? Yeah. From Adrian Ooh. to everyone. Yes. What's your favorite drink? 
It's pretty simple. Long Island iced tea. Long Island iced tea. Uh, whiskey guy. Doesn't matter what's in the whiskey. Just any kind of whiskey. Is my there was a whiskey bar that I'll talk to you about it later in San Diego. I'd like to hear about it. It was San Diego has fucking phenomenal. San Diego has a great downtown district, dude. Here's the thing, because I'm you know fuck I, LA, I, dude. I, San no, Diego's no, got food dude, and that, drink. Yeah, that's right. There, that's on the mark there. Because I grew up in that area, and uh, it didn't used to be like that, but it has really blown up in the last ten years. Microbreweries and a whole bunch of other shit really. The brought... Gaslamp District kicks ass, dude. It's intense. So what? Really intense. How San good? Diego is like what LA wishes it was. <laughs> I think they have the the. Like the the, it's just condensed enough that they can't. Can and enough can money there. There's mm -hmm. enough money there, and enough affluence, and enough. Well, it's also just like a city that can uh, fit enjoy its, and fit. There. Well, well, the city, you know, its population is not overgrown. It like right. it, it, it's just a. Like, it, it works. Yeah, it has the accommodations to be a city. I it's like, nice. uh, you go to the and it's right next to the ocean. It's beautiful. I like, um, really nice. I like Shirley Temple's. I know you do. They're really good. You you love Shirley Temple. What about you, Zach? Well, like I said, you said you got whiskeys. Whiskey. What about you, Mick? Um, man, my favorite drink. And you know, Take I'm gonna, to be perfectly honest, it's probably uh, penis. <laughs> uh, I love to drink ah! just cups of oh, penis. <laughs> Couple <laughs> penis is my favorite lunch. <laughs> Occasional midnight snack. Oh, 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 Guys, I think this place is ha 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 haunted. That doesn't <laughs> spook you. Oh! Is that like that's like John, a John, really... sing a John, John, sing a sound. Sing a sound, John. What? Sing a sound. Your best Middle Eastern voice. Fatherland, fatherland, show <laughs> us a sign. Your children have waited to be. Bom bom. The morning will come when the world is mine. Tomorrow be.